get started now with ano. Before I move on to the workshop mismo, I want to give you guys an introduction muna on what MLSA is all about. So, ano nga ba yung Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador? So, the program is a global group of on-campus ambassadors who are eager to help students and their communities. So, lead in their uh, lead in their local tech circles and develop technical and career skills for the future. So, pag isa kang MLSA, you can you represent your university. So, in my case, I represent FU Labang. So, isa akong Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador na FU Labang. Tapos, pwede kang mag-conduct ng different activities like this, o kaya hackathon. But since wala pa akong, or wala pa masyadong kasama, wala pang kasama, or wala pang um, ibang MLSA sa Alabang, medyo mahirap pa yun. But who knows, di ba? So, sana after this, mag-sign up na kayo and dumami na tayo sa Alabang na mga student ambassadors ng Microsoft Earth. So, you can also volunteer to, uh, pwede kayo mag-volunteer sa mga elementary school, high school, para makapagturo kayo ng mga programming class. So, yun yung MLSA. So, why should I apply, di ba? Good question. So, pag nag-apply ka sa MLSA, you'll be able to make a difference, grow your skills, build your reputation, and become a leader. So, having a passion in technology, ako, kasi may passion ako for technology, and then seeing this on their website was like an instant click for me na, okay, I have to join this kasi it aligns with my advocacy. So, if you're an inspiring change maker, this is the perfect program for you. Especially if ayaw mo naman maging officer ng isang org, but you still want to make a good impact, I highly recommend this. But okay, let's move on to the other benefits. Yung uh, mga awesome benefits naman as an MLSA. So number one, you have access to Microsoft resources such as Microsoft Learn. So Microsoft Learn para siyang Coursera, yun. Pero puro Microsoft Technologies yung tuturo sa ito. You also have access to Microsoft 365 plus TechSmith, Nugget, and Camtasia, screen capture, and recording software. There's also a Visual Studio Enterprise and Azure credits, which is really cool because useful sobra ang Azure, especially if you want to learn all about cloud computing. Number three is exam certification vouchers. I cannot stress this enough. Certifications is such a need and a must-have for our portfolio. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Eh, naan ko yung ano. Thank you for telling me, Leia. Thank you so much. Ayan, so if may mga comments pa kayo about the background music and if masyado akong malakas, please tell me. Thank you, Leia. Ayan. So next one is you're gonna have a premium LinkedIn Learning account. So para din siyang Coursera, pero nasa LinkedIn na siya. Tapos may bayad kasi siya, I think 1,000 a year. Pero pag Microsoft ka, um, uh, pag ang student ambassador ka, free, free sa atin yung LinkedIn Learning. Tapos kunyari nakatapos ka ng parang course sa LinkedIn Learning, gakaroon kayo ng mga badges sa LinkedIn profile mo. Another one is free domain name. Yan. So, meron kami sa rin email. Mine is darla.david darla at studentambassadors.com. So, di ba bongga? Ayan. So, one of my favorite perks ko yan, yung domain name. Kasi napaka-cute. And number six is you can get help from Cloud Advocates and Microsoft MVPs. Tapos sobrang dami ko na rin nakilala from other universities. So, may group chat kami ng mga MLSA ng Philippines. Tapos yun, nag-hangout kami doon, nag-meet kami doon, nag-chat lang ganun. And of course, MLSA milestone badges, which I'll explain later. Ah, uh, later. But di ato, ato yung pinaka favorito ko ng um, <laughs> um benefit, which is of course the swag kit. So ito talaga yun. Eh. Ayon talaga yung pinunta ko. De charot lang. Um, ang ganda lang kasi talaga ng swag kit. And of course, ah, uh, bonus benefit na rin yung having that title. You know, having that MLSA title in your resume. So continue with tayo. Continue. So, sa pagiging MLSA kasi, may success indicators. Kasi, uh, meron siyang success indicators. So, it is called the MLSA Milestone Badges. So, when it comes to MLSA Milestone Badges, magsisimula ka sa new. So, wait lang. Let me bring out the pointer. Ayan. So, new, di ba? Then, you have to cross out the boxes para maka-level up ka or to get the new badge. So, right now, I am in alpha. So, naka-check na tong second box kasi, ayan, nakalagay show and Show, showcase Microsoft technology and host an event. So, yan, nakacheck na yan sa akin kasi nagawa ko na. So, after ko magkaroon ng event na to, makaka-move on na ako sa beta. Magiging beta na ako. So, if you're wondering like, ate, may expiration ba yung pagiging student ambassador ng Microsoft? Hanggang when lang ba to? Or, ano, parang, may, exp nga, may expiration ba siya? Kasi, busy ako sa ACADS, baka hindi ko magawa lahat in one month. So, wag kayo mag-alala kasi, the great thing about this is, you can, uh, you can achieve all this Basta maka ano, basta naka-enroll ka sa college. So imagine yo, first year pa lang kayo, meron na kayong title sa ano na MLSA kayo. Tapos, yung Microsoft Learn hindi siya nag-expire 
hanggat hindi ka graduate. So, bagay expire lang siya pag graduate ka na. So, imagine first year MLSA ka, tapos dala mo na yung title na yun throughout your whole college year. So, maganda siya. Pero, ayun nga, may requirement sila, like, dapat in a year mag-event ka, or may nagawa ka, or may ma-attendan kang meetings. Tapos yung meetings nila kasi international, so, parang madaling araw. So, yung meetings namin mga 12 a.m., 2 a.m., mga ganon. So, kasama ko yung mga MLSA naman na taga-ibang balita. So, ganon. So, alright. Okay, G, Ate Darla, gusto ko na mag-join. How do I join? So, included in the application are sections for... Ay, na, sorry, isa pa. Ayan. So, number one, to apply, you must be at least 16 years old, have valid identification, and be actively enrolled in an accredited, accredited higher education or uh, academic institution. So, dapat enrolled ka sa university. Number two is you have to go to studentambassadors.com. Uh, that Microsoft.com, sorry. <laughs> Ang labo ng mata ko, sorry. Uh, slash apply. Ayan. Tapos number three is you have to fill out the application. So, ayan nga. Sa application, re-require ka nila sumagot ng isang essay. Uh, kasi may mga essays yun eh. Um, ayan. So, included, and the, uh, included in the applications are sections for a written sample, technology skills, and a short video introduction. So, they can get to know you and why you're passionate about being a Microsoft Learn student ambassador. So, ayun nga, i-require ka nila sumagot ng essay. So, may tatlong essay yun. Dapat yung isa, dapat yung isa by video. So, di mo kailangan isulat yung answer. Dapat isa by video. Pero, much better if lahat ng essays mo ay through video. So, if you guys are wondering kung ano yung mga tinanong sa akin, kung ano nakalagay sa application form, the questions were, number one, what excites you about technology and why do you want to help other students explore and learn? So, yun yung first question. Number two, how would you take a technical concept and teach it to a friend or peer that has never heard of it? So, yun yung question number two. And last question, if you were hosting an event at your school, how would you get students to attend? So, ayan tatlong yan, sinagot ko siya by video. So, kung gusto nyo na copy ng video para malaman nyo kung paano ko siya in-answer, uh, just PM me. Ayan. So, for the confirmation naman, Ayan, uh -huh. for the confirmation naman, medyo matagal dahil they, they accept quarterly. So, siguro pa nag-apply ka ngayon, ma-receive mo yung confirmation mo kung natanggap ka ng December. So, medyo matagal. Nag-apply ako nung April, tapos natanggap ako nung July. So, patience lang kasi, ano, worth it naman. Ayan. So, another uh, bonus benefit then is, ayun, magkakatanggap kayo ng certificate every, mind, uh, every milestone. So, ito yung pinakauna kong nakuha, which is yung new certificate niya. And then, you'll also have your own student ambassador profile. Ayan. So, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Necharot lang. So, we'll now move on to the Git and GitHub workshop. Uh, do you guys have questions? Ay, de, later nga lang pala questions. So, we'll now move on to the Git and GitHub workshop. So, I want you guys to open na your Git bash, log in your GitHub account, and go to the CR. So, I'll give you guys a few minutes to open up na set up your browser, your Git, and everything. But for the meantime, let me show you guys my social media accounts in case you want to reach out. You guys can watch my CS content at YouTube, at my YouTube channel, or visit my Facebook. Ah, yung pinadownload! Oh, may, may, ano, uh, uh, may nilabas kaming pub mat na kailangan mag-download ng Git terminal. So, ayan, i-download mo lang kayo, mabilis lang siya. Git, ayan. Down, uh, search mo lang sa Google, Git, download. Tapos, may website doon. Ayan. Hala, mag-install ka na, intayin kita, ayan. So, if you guys want to invite me to an event or formally write a message, you can also do so at my email. Pero kung gusto niyo lang makipagkulitan or makagkalat or uh, gusto niyo lang ako kausap, sa Facebook page ko lang ako. And uh, to my other social media accounts. So, lahat niyan, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, lahat ako nasa at Darla DVD. So, don't hesitate to send me a message. Di lang talaga ako makipagdaldalan about anything. <laughs> and I also want to share some things you should check out before I move on to the workshop. First one is Zwit. So, Zwit is a coding bootcamp focusing on full-stack development. Uh, madalas, may free event sila, like a two-day mini bootcamp about front-end development. So, I highly recommend to sign up. And if you want to know how, I have a video about this. Or you can go to bit.ly slash Zwit apply. Next is Amazon Web Services. So, AWS in short. So, AWS C Club Pilipinas. So, we hold different insightful lectures, cloud computing sessions, specialized trainings, and Amazon Web Services Jump events. So currently, we have Community Ignite series and my episode kami every Thursday. So from fields in tech to project management models, iba iba yung topics happen every week. So you guys should definitely check it out because it's for free lang siya at facebook.com slash awsthatsitclubph. 
Ayan, thank you, Kay. Ayan, binigay na ni Kay kung saan pwede mag-download ng Git. Ayan, you'll find it there. So, ayan. So, nakapag-host ako ng dalawang episodes sa C-Club Pilipinas. So, another one is, when you want to earn naman by answering programming questions, uh, para, you know, magkaroon ka ng extra income kasi ako nawalan ako ng baon nung simula online classes. But I was able to do so at First Hero. Ayan. So, meron na rin akong video about this. So, watch it when you're interested din magsagot ng... Um, programming questions and earn money from it uh, from it ayan last but not the least of course ano naka vertical wait which one anong naka vertical ako ayan anyway so last but last but not the least of course google developer student clubs fua ayan so tapos na yung info session and registration for the first term but magbubukas ulit kami ng registration for next term and magkakaroon naman kami ng events na open to anyone. So, ayan. So, nakaset up na ba yung mga get terminal nyo? Ayan. Wait lang. So, is, oh, so, if everyone is ready for the workshop, please type one ulit. So, lagi tayo, marami akong um, moments na papatype one ako kasi yun yung um, parang indicator na ready na kayo. Ayan. Ayan, mukhang ready na iba. Alright? Ayan. So, Ayan. Ito yung dadaan natin this morning. We'll know the concept of Git and GitHub by defining them, how they work, uh, their difference, and importance. Next, we're going to learn the fundamentals of Git. We're gonna learn the commands for configuring, initializing, staging, committing, and restoring. After that, I'm gonna give you guys a short introduction to GitHub. I'll teach you guys how to upload uh, upload your Git repository to GitHub. Ayan. So, ito yung objectives natin for this workshop. Alright, so let's start na ako. First, sure, before I uh, know, before I um, move on to parang coding mismo, I have to teach you guys the concept of Git and GitHub. And um, mago off lang ako ng cam, kasi <laughs> ano pa si Yani? Hi Yani, eh. so off ako ng cam, kasi baka maglag yung uh, laptop ko. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Don't worry. Uh, mama yung mapakita kalit yung makako. Pero magwag. <laughs> Kailangan kasi baka hindi kaya rin ng, ng laptop ko yung ano. So, later, later, promise. Ayan. So, ayan, no. So, let's start na, no, with the uh, Git and GitHub. So, nung first year ako, akala ko Git is free. And then, GitHub is yung pro version ng Git. But I was wrong. So, Git and GitHub works together. So, before I differentiate Git and GitHub, let us first define the two. So, I actually made a video about this na, pero syempre, i-review natin siya. Ayan. So, ang Git is a siyang version control system or version control software. So, let's say you're coding, di ba? Yan, di ba nagko-code? Kasi save yung changes sa code mo in a database called repository. And sa repository, may parang history tab doon. So, ayan. So, kunyari nagko-code ka, lahat ng, ayan, lahat ng kinocode mo napupunta sa repository. And then, yung repository, meron siyang parang feature doon na nakikita mo yung history ng code mo. Ayan. So, makikita mo kung anong mga pagbabago ng gantong oras, kailan mo binago, at bakit. And, ang maganda dito, if may ayaw kang ginawa sa code mo, you can always check out the history and revert the changes or bring back the version you want. So, kunyari, nagko-code ka today, which is Wednesday, di ba? Pero ayaw mo yung changes na ginawa mo kasi, ano, parang, ayaw, ayaw mo lang. Tapos, masyado ng uh, matrabaho para mag-undo, right? So, pwede mo ma-retrieve yung code mo nung Monday. Ayan, so, gets ba so far? Kung ano yung isang version control system? Ayan, I'll wait for someone to chat if gets the last. <laughs> Para dahan-dahan tayo. Ako mukhang di na... Ayan, ayan, gets to yung iba. Ayan, okay. Alright, so yun yung git. Okay. Next is... So, now you might wonder, di ba? What's so special about git? I'm sure you're familiar with this. So, we all do this, diba? And imagine the struggle when you're coding, tapos may naisip kang feature na gusto mo i-add sa program mo. So, need mo pa i-duplicate yung buong folder, i-rename mo pa, tapos let's say di mo napapansin na ang dami mo na palang nagawang duplicated files with minimal changes. So, maliligaw ka talaga sa sobrang uh, dami ng files. So, ganun ka useful si Git. Di mo na kailangan mag-duplicate ng files, may ibasa mo yung gantong problem, and it saves space and time. Ayan. So, ang git, it, use, it also uses the terminal. So, yan yung terminal. So, if you know some Linux commands, you definitely have an advantage. But, pag wala naman, ay okay lang din kasi may encounter naman natin yan later. And, tuturo ko sa inyo yung mga different Linux commands. So, if you don't want to use the terminal naman, that's totally okay. 
Kasi may mga GUI naman dyan. So, ayan, GUI, Graphical uh, User Interface. So, yeah, may mga GUI naman na pwedeng gamitin for Git. But it's really important to know pa rin how to use Git in terminals. Why? Because pagdating niya sa tech industry, hindi lahat ng company ay may GUI for Git. But sa kahit anong computer na magagamit nyo, kahit sa computer lab, sa office, or kahit sa computer shop, may terminal. So, ano meaning? Ang meaning nun, you'll be able to use Git anywhere. Ayan, so clear tayo dun. Next. Ayan, so ano naman ang GitHub? So, GitHub is a Git repository. Git repository. May hindi ako nabubulaw dito. Ayan. So, Git repository hosting service. So, what does that mean? That means it is a platform where you can upload your repository. So, it's basically a website where you can show your source code and allow specific people to edit it. So, dito na kayo talaga makikipag-collaborate since it's cloud-based. So, ayan. Allows you to share your code. So, to further understand what GitHub is and how it works with Git, Think of it like Word and Google Docs. So if you make a document sa computer mo, nakasave lang siya sa files mo, which is like the local repository. So local repository yun. But pag in-upload mo sa Google Docs, di ba, uh, pag in-upload mo sa Google Drive and magiging Google Docs siya, nasa central repository na siya. And other people can see the document, make changes, and allowing you to collaborate with other people. So parang ganun yung GitHub. It allows you to collaborate with other developers. So, kunyari, ito yung ikaw, it, uh, ikaw to, and you have your team member here, you have another team member here, you're working on your local repository, and then, pwede mo i-upload sa GitHub, which is the central repository. So, kunyari, ito si Team A, nag-upload ng code dito, pwede naman ko na ni Team C, at uh, Team Member C. Ayan. So, kaya may arrow na pabalik at papunta. Ayan. So, clear ba, guys? Kung ano yung Git and GitHub? Please press 1. How about the others? Okay, thank you. Let me continue. Ayan. So, let me tell you a story, di ba? Last year, ang finals namin sa data structure and algorithm ay isang program. Tapos, by group pa kami. Eh, hindi kami marunong mag-github nun. So, imagine, iba-iba uh, iba kami mag-time ng program nun. Minsan, nag-code kami ng sabay. Minsan, nag-code naman ako ng, uh, ng tulog sila. Tapos, minsan, nag-code sila ng tulog ako. So, yung Discord namin, punong-puno ng iba't ibang files na kung ano-ano yung name. So, dumating sa point na ano na yung mga names ng files namin, mga crush namin, mga K-pop idols, dahil naubosan kami ng ipapangalan sa files. So, yun. So, with using Git and GitHub, may iwasan natin yung kantong problem. Tapos, matitignan pa namin yung uh, kung sino yung gumawa ng changes, sa ba't niya ginawa, yun. Yun. So, parang ganyan nga. So, in a bigger scale, ayan, kunyari, ano, you're working on a tech industry like Facebook, o, oh, di ba? Plus, you're handling, ah, uh, no, there's no limit. Um, actually, I haven't checked. Mamaya, mamaya. Ah, uh, kasi may free and, ano, may free and pro version yung GitHub. So, pero ang alam ko yung free, um, limitless naman yun. So, in a bigger scale, imagine you're working on a tech industry like Facebook, plus you're handling a lot of files and codes every day. Plus, let's say, sa isang folder, 500 files, yun. Tapos may gusto kang paguin sa isang file na yun. So, anong mangyayari? Kailangan mo pa i-duplicate lahat. So, it will take a lot of space and it's redundant. So, in short, using Git and GitHub can make developers work together and track history of their code. Ayan. So, now that we know their definition, uh, ano naman natin sila? I-differentiate. So, Git is a software that can be used offline. It is installed locally. Uh, yeah, can be used online. <laughs> it is installed locally on the system. Uh huh. So, it is a command line tool that allows you to manage different versions of your code. And pwede mong gamitin ang GitHub, ang Git without GitHub. So, it is all, uh, it is also open software, meaning, um, publicly, uh, publicly accessible siya to anyone. So, anyone can see, modify, and distribute the code as they see it. So, ang open software then. Meaning, pwede mo i-customize yung terminal mo, pwede mo i-bayin yung kulay, pwede ka gumawa ng mga shortcuts. So, yun yung Git. So, on the other hand naman, ang GitHub naman is a shank service. So, where you can upload your code to the cloud. So, since it's cloud-based, like I said kanina, need mo ng internet connection. And hindi mo magagamit ang GitHub without Git. So, my free and pro version yung GitHub, but you can actually use their student developer pack na parang pro na din siya, but for us students. Ayan. So, ang daming perks ng student developer pack. 
gamitin niyo lang yung student email niyo when logging in and parang may option doon na you can sign up for the program. So again, ang main difference nila talaga is Git is a software and GitHub is a service where you can upload your Git repository. So ayan, clear ba yung difference nila or do you want me to explain them again? And so maghintay lang ako ng chat. <laughs> ayan, clear ba guys? Ayan, so clear? Alright. Ayan, so pwede nyo yung screenshot yan, ganyan. Okay, so now na natin yung difference nila. What makes Git and GitHub important to us developers? As students, magkakaroon tayo kasi ng ano, ayan, i-lahat ko na. Ayan. So as students kasi, magkakaroon tayo ng projects kung yun nga, saan you have to work in a group and using these tools will make collaborating so much easier and less time consuming. So it's a good practice then, kasi most likely when you're working na, gagamit kayo ng Git and GitHub. As professionals naman, your GitHub may serve as a portfolio. Madalas nga na required ang magkakaroon ng GitHub account sa tech industry kasi dito nila makikita kung paano ka mag-code, kung malinis ba siya, readable, and efficient. So the way you code is one of the big factors in considering if you're worth hiring. So yun yung importance ng Git and Git. Ayan, so now let's move on to the fundamentals of Git. So... Ayan, before we move on talaga sa hands-on tutorial, yung mag-code na tayo, I first want to explain some more terms that we'll encounter today. Ayan. Number one is the terminal. So, terminal is the actual window. Ayan. That comes up and you have stuff running in it. So, ito mismo yun, guys. Wait lang. Let me open din my terminal. Ayan. So, yung nagpa-pop up na to, wait lang. Ayan. Yung nagpa-pop up na to, siya mismo yung terminal, yung actual window. Next is the shell. So, I, ayan. So, the shell is the actual program that takes the input and gives us an output. So, yun, input output. Siya mismo yung parang, uh, ano ba? Wait lang, let me move on. Ayan, siya mismo yung parang language. So, ang bash, isa siyang example ng shell. Siya mismo yung language that runs in most terminals. So, an example ng uh, language ko na rito. Hello, uh, echo, hello world. Ayan. So, yan mismo yung parang bash. So, actually, sa iba't ibang sa terminal natin, di, ako si, di kasi ako sure, pero mostly, ang ginagamit ay bash. Pero iba-iba tayo ng shell. Merong sh, yan, merong bash, at iba pa. So, another one is command line or prompt. So, command line is a siyang blank line or cursor on the screen allowing the user to type in instructions for immediate execution. So, bakit may slash prompt dyan? So, uh, sa Windows, ang tawag natin ay command prompt. Sa Linux, ay tawag natin ay command line. So, ano dito yung command line? This one. Yan, yung line. Kaya siya nagtawag command line. Ayan. So, this is based on my understanding pala. Ha? So, you can always correct me if I'm wrong. So, clear ba tayo sa terms ng terminal, shell, and command line? <laughs> Ayan. Clear. Ayan. Nice, nice, nice. Ayan, so this time, I'm gonna stop my screen share and si screen share ko ulit yung screen ko kasi magsisimula na tayo. Ayan, wait lang. Wait lang. Aha, uh -huh. wait. Wait lang, let me. Aha, uh -huh. uh, wait lang. Ayan. Ayan, so kita na ba ulit yung screen ko? Ayan. So, I'll be teaching in English, by the way, uh, so all of us can understand, but I'll be adding a bit of... Hindi ko pa po na-download yung Git. Oh no, bakit? Naku, hindi kita maiintay. Pero sige, you can catch up naman kasi marami pa akong beses na magpapawan. Pinigay na ni Kay kanina yung, ano, yung link. So, ayan. So, again, let, I'll be teaching in English so all of us can understand. But I'll be... Hindi po kita yung screen? Really? Wait, why? Wait lang, wait lang. Wait. Kita na ba? Hindi pa po. Hala, ba't ganun? <laughs> oh no. Wait lang. Wait, wait. Mm. Mm. Ayan. Ayaw talaga. Kita na ba? Hindi pa. 
Hindi pa po. <laughs> oh my gosh, what wala? Wait. It's weird. Teka lang. <laughs> zero. Uh, zero for no, yes for one. Uh, wait lang, how about this? Wait lang, kita ba pag ano, eto? Is this kita? Yes pa. Oh no, okay, sige, dito ako magtuturo. Alright, wait lang, let me move all my icons here. Set up ako here ha. Ayan, kita na to, kita na yung file explorer ko. Yes pa. Alright, so, wait lang. Ayan. Wait lang. Set up lang ako, guys. Para smooth ang ating program. Ayan. There you go. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Yun. Sabi na yun. Ayan. Excited na kayo. Alright. Wait lang. Uh-huh. Ayan. So, okay na. So, first step natin is to open your file explorer and create a new folder called come and get it. Ayan. Para may indication tayo na ano. Ayan. So, if you want to save your files sa document or downloads, that will be alright. Anything will do. Ayan, wait lang. Ayan, nakagawa na ba, guys? So, next thing is to enter the folder and right-click, then click Git Bash here. So, may nakita Git Bash here. So, the terminal is supposed to open. Ayan. Please let me know uh, if naka-open na yun sa inyo. Press 1 if naka-open na. Naka-open na ba? Ayan, alright. Wait lang. So long way, mag-pop up yung chat. Wait lang. Ayan. So, ayan. So, Git Bash is an application that provides Git command line experience on the operating system. So, yun nga, it is a command line shell for enabling Git with the command line in the system. Ayan. So, now let's set up your git. Ayan, mag-git na tayo. So, we have to put your name and email. So, type nyo, git config dash dash global. Ayan. So, global means to all your repositories. So, kunyari, after this, gagawa ka ng panibagong repository, mag apply din yung settings sa ginawa mo dito. Pero actually, pwede ni local. So, there's also an option where the settings will only be applied in this specific repository. Thus, allowing, ano, allowing us to have different settings for different programs or different projects. Ayan, so, git config dash dash global. Now, let's continue. After dash dash, go, dash, dash global, yung pash pash na, <laughs> dash dash global, add user that name, and then a double quote. And then sa loob ng double quote, please type your name. Ayan. Pagka-type ng name, please press enter. Ayan. Tapos, let's do the same thing. Let's do the same thing. So, uh, git config dash dash global this time we'll set up your email so user that email and then uh dahil email address you don't have to put a double code kasi wala na space sa email address so let's type in your email type ko yung student email ko so i prefer my student email bang that edu dot ph so ayan press uh press one to like press enter ayan by the way, guys, kung gusto niyo ng shortcut for the ano, commands, you can always press the up, up arrow key. So, if gusto niyo bumalik, ayan, up arrow key. Ayan, para madali lang sa atin mag-code. Ayan. So, to know if the username and email work, you can type it again. But this time, without the ano na, without anything. So, user.name and then user.email. Ayan. So, lumabas na, gumana siya. So, please chat one if, ano, if ganito din yung nangyari sa inyo. <coughs> Mukhang onti lang yung nag one. I'll wait for others. Ayan. Alright, this time we're gonna open VS Code. Or, um, actually sa inyo, you can open any IDE that you're comfortable with. Because we're gonna be coding. Yeah, Mag-code na tayo. So, kung gusto niyo DevC and others, okay lang. But for me... Ang um, default code ko ay VS Code. So, let me open VS Code over here. Ayan. Nice. So, ayan. And then, we're gonna create a new file. Uh, kasi gagawa tayo ng C++ program. That's gonna take two integers and get their sum. So, wait lang. Gagawa na ako ng file. Calculator. Ayan. Para kunyari boga. Calculator.cpp. Ayan. So, mag-code na tayo. So, kunyari nag-code tayo. Ayan. 
Ayan, may code na agad. O, di ba? Ready na? I'm gonna... Error unknown option global name po, ma'am. What do you... Ano lumalabas sa'yo? Make sure na ano, na hindi ka naka-double code or anything. Error unknown option global. Na, nagaya mo ba lahat, uh, Zedric? Baka may na-miss kang typo or may na-miss kang period or ano. Ayan, so while waiting for Zedric's response, I'm gonna drop the, sor drop, drop the source code here. Ah, yun. Alright. Ayan. Wait lang. Wala pa pa tayo pwede ko dito. Ayan. Nag-send nag ba yung code para madadali na lang sa inyo? Ayan. So, check natin, no? Kung nagana yung code natin. So, I'm gonna, ano, I'm gonna... Ayan. So... Uh -huh. Ayan. Enter first number, 5 and 4. 5 plus 4 equals 9. So, gumana din pa sa inyo? Ayan, sige, press 1. Nauna na ata kanina si Anthony mag-press 1. <laughs> Ayan. Kumana ba yung code sa inyo, guys? Wala. Wala ba ako? Ito na nag-press 1. <laughs> Hello? Ayun, ah, okay, ayan, alright. Ah, wait lang po, sige, gumana na po, sige, wait natin yung iba. Ayan, so to explain the code, di ba? So we have three variables, first number, second number, and sum of two numbers. So, papa-input tayo ng first number, papa-input tayo ng second number, and then, yung ano, nakalagay dito, sum of two numbers is stored in variable, sum of two numbers. So, yan, dito malalagay yung sum nila. Tapos, i-CC out natin, i-display natin. So, ito yung nangyari doon. Alright. Now that we have files in our folder, it is time to make our repository. So, ito na. Kanina, di ba? Baka you're wondering, ano, ano pa tong repository? Malay ba namin ko ano yung repository? Repository na repository. Eh, repository na repository si, ano, si Ate Darla. So, ito na lang, guys. So, going back to your, ano, to your Git terminal. Clear muna natin to para mukhang malinis. So, to, to clear out your terminal, you type clear. So, back to your Git terminal, type git init. So, git init means you're initializing a repository. So, yun na mismo yung repository na sinasabi ko kanina. Ayan. So, git init and then makikita nyo initialize empty git repository. Ayan. So, puno tayo sa folder. So, when you go to the view tab and click hidden items, nandito siya. So, ayan. There's a folder called git. Ah, uh, git. Git. Ayan. So, bakit hidden siya, no? Bakit siya hidden? Kasi you don't have to do anything to it. So, wag na wag yung gagalawin yung dot git na folder, no? Same is sa terminal, no? When you type ls, wala dito yung um, git na folder. But when you type ls-a, which means na napapakita niya yung um, hidden file sa inyong directory. Directory wins folder. So, directory, ayan yung directory. Ayan. So, nandito yung dot git. So again, why is it hidden? Because you're not supposed to do anything to it. And when you look inside the folder, puro files lang siya actually. Wait lang, pakita ko yung dog. Ayan, puro files lang siya where you can... So, ayan, dito, ito yung nag allow for Git to store the information about your code, track its changes, and many more. So let's keep it hidden lang, guys. Ayan. So if you're using uh, no, VS Code, you see a little U symbol. But I'll explain that later because now that we have a Git repository, I have something to discuss first. So, ayan, let me open up my PowerPoint. So, habang in-explore yun yan, I'm gonna open my PowerPoint kasi I have something to discuss right here. Wait lang. Alright, teka lang. There. So, ayan, wait lang. Ayan, so kita namin yung PowerPoint ko, di ba? Kita, guys. Alright, ayan. So, di ba, we have our folder, right? And inside that folder is our files, such as the ko kanina, the calculator.cpp. And another folder or subdirectory, which is the git repository, yung .git. So, like, uh, like I explained earlier, the, rep uh, the repository is where you can track the changes versions or history. So let's say you did meet some changes. You change a feature in the calculator and then you added another that .cpp file. Tapos, kunyari, ano, let's say you're satisfied na sa ginawa mo for today. 
And you want to record it in the repository or gusto mo na malagay sa repository yung version na yun. So, yun nga, yung version na may ginawa ka sa, ano, na ibang CPP file and may iniba ka sa, ano, sa the TPP. So, that's called committing. Ayan. So, you're committing those changes in the repository. So, for a simple analogy, Mosh, a YouTuber, said, creating a commit is like taking a, snap a snapshot of the project. Ayan. So, may changes, is a snapshot mo, and mapupunta sa repository. So, yun yung tinatawag na committing. But we all know, commit or commitment is a big word. So, like in relationships, diba, we all go through this step or stage where we assess everything before committing to the change. So, ganun din sa Git. Sa Git, we have an extra step called staging area or index. So, dito muna napupunta yung gusto mong i-commit, so, yeah, this is where the proposal goes. Like, hey, I want to commit these changes, but let us make sure muna na this is what we really want. So, ayan, balik ko dito. So, it goes like this, no? The modified files will go to the staging area, or in other words, they will be added to the index. And then, review natin yung changes. Okay na ba? Good to go na ba? So, pag good to go na, i-commit natin siya. Magiging version 1 siya. So, yung commit natin, or the version, uh, yun, eto, yung version 1, committed na siya permanently in the repository. Ayan. So, nakuha ba yung uh, concept kung paano gumagana, guys? Please press 1. Or do you want me to... Ayan, nag-press 1 na isa. Alright. Ayan, mukhang gets... By the way, guys, if you have any questions, chat me lang. Ayan. So, now let's say upon reviewing the modified files in the staging area, you forgot to add something or you're not satisfied with them. So, pwede mo naman i-unstage. Unstage yung tawag. So, pwede mo naman ibalik siya sa ano. Itanggalin siya sa staging area. Well, which I will explain later. So, ayan. ayan. So, let me give another example, no? So, we have a couple of files. File 1 and file 2. Let's add it to the staging area. So, we're gonna use git add file 1 file 2 so yun yung command for adding the files in the staging area so sabi natin git add file 1 file 2 yeah so after using the add command the files will be in the staging area and now we're ready to commit or permanently store them in the repository so ano naman yung command dun? we use so bago na to we use git commit dash m initial commit so parang may comment tayo may message tayo so you usually put initial commit when it's the first time you're gonna be committing but after that you have to put something um meaningful or different inside the double quote so yun nga kasi it will serve as a comment or something that will make you remember what the change is all about so wag nyo bimahin yung dash m double quote so dapat ang nasa loob ng double quote yung tungkol sa changes. Kasi makikita rin yan ng collaborators mo and important siya sa pag-organize ng history mo. So, bawal siya parang ASDF lang kasi kunyari, pinasa ko to sa uh, team member ko or group member ko. Sabi, ano ASDF? Mali ko ba kung anong binago? So, dapat may comment yan. Now, I want to emphasize this. Ayan. So, kunyari, nakapag-commit na tayo, magiging, ayan, ito na siya. Initial commit. Now, I want to emphasize this that after committing, the staging area or index does not become empty. So, nandun pa rin yung modified files. So, again, committing to the rep to the repository, so, di ba, pumunta siya dito, di niya, uh, it doesn't mean that the staging area will be empty. So, meron pa rin siyang laman. So, please remember that. So, right now, what we currently have in the staging area is the same as the, uh, as, as, is the same thing with what we stored in the repository or itong initial commit. Ayan, so, pareha sila ngayon lahat. Alright, so pop question tayo. Please answer this in the chat. After committing, nawawala ba yung file 1 and file 2 sa staging area or index? Yes or no? No. Yeah, big no. Correct. Yeah, that's a big no. Alright, all right, thanks. Now, let's say you made some changes to file 1. So, yan. Kunyari, may binago ka sa file 1. Yan. Note that what we currently have in the staging area is the old version of file 1. So you can see, nagbago yung um, color no? ng file 1 sa files. Pero sa index is um, same color siya. Meaning, ito yung old version. So yan. Can anyone tell me why? Uh, kung bakit hindi nagbago yung uh, file 1 sa staging area? Can anyone tell me why? Kung bakit ito nagbago. Nagbago tayo ng file pero hindi siya automatically nagbago sa staging area. Ayan. Bakit kaya? 
wala pang ayan, no changes attempt. Wala pang commit close ano, close answer. Pero why? That's because we haven't used the add command. So iba pa yung add sa commit, guys ha. Yung add, mag-add pa lang tayo sa staging area. Yung commit mapupunta na siya sa repository. So ayan. So we haven't used the add command or hindi pa natin na-add yung bagong version ng file 1. So to do that, yun nga, we add git add file 1. So now ready na yung file 1. And now what we have in the staging area is the updated file 1. Or in other words, same na ulit yung nasa files mo at nasa staging area mo. So what we do next is we now commit. Yan. So get commit-m, kunyari nag-fix tayo ng bug. So nalagay ko, fix a bug. By the way, if you guys are using uh, or writing comments, very recommendable na gumamit kayo ng past tense. Pero nasa inyo pa rin yun. Ang importante, pag ganyan, sa group kayo, mapag-usapan nyo kung ano gagamitin natin kung past tense, past tense ba, present tense, future tense. Ayan, so added na siya sa repository. Fixed a bug. Ayan. So another example or another situation is, kunyari, you don't need the file 2 na. Ayaw mo na ng file 2. But it's still in the staging area. So what we do is, we need to do another add command. Ayan, git add file 2. So pansin nyo, kahit add, parang add yung tawag sa command na yun, nare-remove nyo pa rin yung file 2. Kasi parang ang ginagawa lang naman talaga ng git add is parang ina-update nyo yung staging area. So it knows na file 2 is deleted na. So let's do another commit. Git commit dash m remove file 2. Yan. So meron na tayong tatlong versions. So meron na tayong tatlong commits in our repository, but each commit contains a unique identifier. So later, nakikita nyo may generate na parang number sa git per commit. So para siyang student number. So parang may number dito, may number dito, may number dito. Tapos iba-iba. So each commit also has the message you type after the dash m. So parang makikita nyo naman later na yung commit, makikita yung date and time author, pati yung buong files na kinomit mo yon that time. And the good thing about git, let's say, ang dami mo ng commits, like 100 commits per day. Pero wag naman ganun. Pero the good thing about git is it doesn't waste space. So kahit marami tayong commits sa repositories, ang ginagawa ni git ay kinocompress ngayong content and doesn't store the duplicate content. So pwede maraming commits. Ayan. Pero ang recommend ko is big changes lang yung i-commit nyo. But syempre, up to you pa rin. So, ayan. So, now na-explain ko na yung parang uh, buong system, ha? Magko-code na tayo sa ating terminal. So, are you guys ready to do this whole example? So, yung mag example tayo. So, please press 1 if you guys get it and ready to continue. Ayan. Public tayo dito. Ayan. So, mukhang nag-guess naman nila. Alright. So, girl, girl, going <laughs> To the terminal. Let's run. Clear natin tole para malinis. Let's run git status. Yeah. And so this command, we will see the status of the directory or yung folder natin. And nadito na yung ayan staging area. So makakita nyo. Wait lang. Ah, pwede ano kung muna tong para malinis yung ano? Yan yun malinis yun. So makita nyo what's written here. His no commits yet. Kasi di pa tayo nagkakomit. Di pa tayo nagaad. Di pa tayo nagkakomit. And then we also have untracked files. So yeah, meaning no commits yet, wala pa tayong git commit. No uh, uh, untracked files meaning di pa tayo nagigit ad. Ayun. So and under that is the CPP file and the EXE file kasi ang alam ko with the programming sa C++ laging may EXE. So kasama isama na natin 'yan. So the files under untracked files, this one, are in red because they have or di pa sila napupunta sa staging area. Now, ayan, mag-add na tayo. So, again, di ba, to add, ang pwede mong gawin is git add calculator.cpp ay mali. Calculator.cpp calculator.exe pero masyadong mahaba, di ba? Eh, ang gusto naman natin is ma-add lahat. So, there's actually another way to do this which is dot. So, git add dot. So, that means all or everything. But before I continue with that, let me show you other ways to use the git add. You can also use git add uh, asterisk.cpp. Ang meaning nito, lahat lang ng cpp files ang ma-add sa uh, staging area. Same to with txt, you know, exe. So meaning ng asterisk, lahat ng gantong extension. So yeah, ayan, mag -i add na natin lahat. Actually, I don't recommend adding everything, pero uh, parang I don't recommend using dot. Pero since ito lang naman yung i-add natin yung lahat. Yes, sa local storage pa lang siya. Parang sa local repository pa lang. Parang nandito pa lang siya. Wait lang. Nandito pa lang yung i-add natin. Uh, 
yeah, yung commits natin, uh, huwag yung muna isipin yung, ano, yung GitHub. Nasa ano pa lang tayo? Nasa local repository pa lang tayo. So, nandito pa lang tayo. Uh, yan, nasa local storage pa lang. So, wala pa siya sa internet or anything. Alright. Paano, ko, paano po kapag naka-folder yung i-add? I don't think you can add a folder mismo. I don't think... Actually, di ko nga lang kung anong extension ng folder. So, kunyari, come and get it that folder. Um, parang hindi siya gagana. That's why we use dot. Kasi dot means everything inside the folder. Ayan. So, get add dot. Ayan. So, okay na. I-enter na natin. And now, you can see, pag nag-get status tayo, green na siya. So, meaning, meron na tayong file sa staging area. So, the same ba guys sa inyo? Please press 1. Alright, si Mark ay okay na. Alec, okay na. Jessica, alright. Ayan. Thank you everyone for uh, being so interactive with me. Ayan. As you can see, they are now green, meaning the files are in the staging area. So let us now commit. Earlier, I told you to start with the initial commit. So, diba, since first commit natin to, initial commit natin, lalagay natin, obviously. But let me show you an example kung paano mag-write ng long message. Kasi ang pangit naman pag kunyari ganun. Git commit, ayan, tapos parang sobrang, ano, sobrang, uh, sobrang haba. Like, kunyari, ano, parang once upon a time, ganyan. So, parang hindi siya pang, ang pangit siya pag one-liner lang. So, actually, pwede kang mag-commit ng long message. So, let me show you an example. Type git commit, then wait for the file editor to open. Ayan, so may file editor na tayo. So, type nilang git commit and then press enter. Ayan. So, yun nga, kasi minsan, one-liner sentence is not enough to describe the changes. So, type commit, ayan. And then, let's write a short description. So, title mo na initial, ay bali, initial commit. And then dash um enter. This is my first ever commit in Git. Ayan, type niya. This is my first ever commit in Git. Ayan. So ito yung ganto yung um initial ah uh, ganto yung pagsulat ng super long message. Ayan. This is my first ever commit in Git. After that, please press the escape button para lalabas na tayo. And please um type ah uh, colon wq. Ayan. Colon wq. There you go. Meaning, nakapag-commit na tayo. So, yung nakalagit po. Initial commit, two files change, 21 insertions. So, two files change, meaning may dalawang commit na files. Ay, may dalawang committed files, 21 insertions, meaning 21 lines of code ang na ano. Ayan. Ayan 21 lines of code ang naan. So, nagets ba yun? Ayan. Now, you will see that the terminal, ano, ayan, yung makikita mo kung ano yung nagbago. So when it comes to committing, no, make sure na yun nga, when you commit, it's not too big or too small of a change. Kasi the whole point of committing is to record checkpoints. Para if may mali ka, pwede ka bumalik sa certain checkpoint na yun. Another thing is to make sure to commit often with distinct changes. Like kunyari, is there a way to see specifically what meron? Yes, actually, ituturo ko yun later. Mm, ituturo ko yun later na pwedeng makita yung ano. Pero kasi wala pa tayong makita ngayon kasi initial commit eh. So, pag nag-get diff tayo, which is the command, uh, wala tayong makikita. Kasi ano lang naman, like parehas pa lang. So, another thing yun nga is make sure to commit often. So, kunyari may, ano, gusto mo mag, um, kunyari nag-fix ka ng bug. Ay, sorry, mabilis. Okay, sige, sige. Ayan, thank you, thank you. Ayan. Okay, wait lang. Saan ako ulit? Ah, sige. Ayan. So, di ba, nag-commit na tayo. We have two files change, 21 insertions, meaning two files ang na-add sa uh, ano, pag-commit mo, and then 21 lines. So, yun lang yung meaning nun. And then, yun nga, committing tips, make sure hindi masyadong malaki yung kinokommit mo, hindi masyadong maliit. And then, if magkocommit ka, kunyari, um, kunyari may dalawa, may dalawa kang ginawa, nag-fix ka ng bug and nag-fix ka ng typo. Um, uh, ang recommend ko is wag ka mag-mix ng both in one commit. Ang recommend ko is mag-commit ka when you fix a bug, then mag-commit ka ulit for fixing a typo. Kasi pag, pag nag-commit ka na fix a bug, fix a typo, baka makomplikado. Pero if kaya mo naman ma-explain sa message, ay you can go ahead. So, ayan, clear ba lahat, guys? So, we just did our first commit. Nakasunod ba kayo? Please stress one. If not, I can, you know, show it again naman. Alright. 
How about yung iba? Naku, mabilis pala ako. Sige, I will go ano. Puti na lang kakasimula pa lang natin. I will go slower. Empty commit message. Okay, ulit. Uh, not a git repository or any... Alright, teka lang. Empty commit message. Baka wala kang nalagay sa commit message mo. Baka wala kang... Mag-commit tayo ulit. Sige, wait lang. Pwede ba kay ulit ulit? Ano po prob? Fatal not a git repository or any period of... Hmm. Nakapag git init ka na ba? Sige, ulit tayo guys. Sige, sige. Yan. So... Diba? Let's change something sa code. Let's change something sa code. Uh, Mag-change na ako. Ma, huwag nyo na gawin to, guys. Kasi sa mga, sa mga naka, ano na, sa mga nakasunod na, standby lang kayo. Ulitin ko lang ulit. So, again, save ko to. Ayan. So, when we go to the git status, makikita natin na modified yung... Ay, de, 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 wait lang. Masyadong, ano to. Ayan. I-run muna natin. Ayan. So, Yeah. So, git status, makikita natin na nandito na lahat ng nagbago. Nagbago siya, di ba? Calculator.cpp, ganun. So, now na ready na tayo mag-add sa staging area, we have to use git add that. Yeah. So, meaning no, nakapag-add na tayo sa staging area. So, git status, s ay, ayan, git status, Yan, green, meaning nasa staging area na siya. After that, magko-commit na tayo. Kanina, ang pinakita ko lang naman is kung paano magsulat ng mahabang message. In case na kilana, ano, like, uh, in case na hindi kaya na isang message. First again, now that we're committing another one, ayan, git commit dash m. Mag-add na tayo. Initial commit. Ayan. Ayan, three insertions, one deletion. So, ito, ito ko lang naman to sa code. You don't have to necessarily parang know about that. So, nakasunod ba yung iba? Ayan, how about the others? Yung kanina? Nasagot ko ba yung tanong nyo? Okay na po, alright. How about the other one? Okay, sige. Magka-continue na ba ako? Kasi, do you guys want me to continue? Ayan. So, don't hesitate to ask questions lang. Yung kay Leia, Leia, okay na ba yung sayo? Fatal not a git repository. Nakasunod na. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Nasa, ano ka naman? Nasa loob ka naman ng folder? Kasi, yung kay Leia. Wait, I'm waiting for you. Uh... Paglagay ng long Okay, wait lang. Save lang po kami ng error ni Leia. Okay, nandito na ba kayo sa ano? Sa ating folder mismo? Kasi, di ba, di ba nag-git in it? Pag nag-git in it, dapat dito lang kayo nag-ano, parang, uh, dapat dito kayo nag git bash. Kasi baka, kita nyo tong path na to, baka wala kayo dito. Dapat nakalagay dito, document slash come and get it. Nandito na ba kayo? Tapos, ano ulit lalagay ka? Mm -hmm. Hmm. My gosh, wait lang. Let me... Ayan, try nyo i-type git in it. Nakapag, meron na ba kayong, ano, git repository? Kasi baka wala pa. Kasi you can't, you can't commit or you can't add sa staging area unless, uh, unless may ano na kayo, may git repository. So, yun yung pinakauna natin ginawa kanina. Besides the pag-set up. Again, to check if meron kayong .git folder, pwedeng, pwedeng yung i-click yung hidden items. Okay, na-fix na daw. Ayan, thank you, John, Matthew, thank you. And then, ano ulit lalagay pang may changes? What do you mean? Yung may git add? Git add niya, yung pag-add sa staging files. And then, yung pag... Paglagay naman ng long message, git commit, tas type nyo, ayan, git commit lang, and then enter. I'm sorry, nakano na kasi. Um, let's make another change. Wait, tanggalin ko to. Ah, uh, yung mga nakasunod na wag yun na ano yun na ipinapakita ka lang. So to commit, ah, uh, to make another long message ulit. Ah, uh, git commit. Tapos, wait, add ko na palo mo na lahat. Git add, git commit. Ayan. So, ayan type niya initial commit. Ayan, initial commit. Type 
Oh, uh, third initial committee. Para di ako magulan mamaya. This is third initial committee. Ayan. So, when you're done, you just press escape button and then colon W Q. Okay na ba, uh, Catherine? Uh-huh. Okay na ba, guys? Alright, okay na for Victoria. How about yung kanina ng tatanong? Okay na po, yun. Alright, let's continue. Ayan, so nakapag-commit na ulit tayo. Alright, so here, let's clear, let's clear this out. Ayan. So now that you know how to add files to the staging area and commit them, let me show you how to skip the staging area. So actually, yun nga, pwede na mag na, di ba? Kanina, pinakita ko, uh, file to staging area to repository. You can actually skip the staging area, but hindi to recommended. Uh, hindi talaga siya recommended, pero gusto ko lang mapakita sa inyo. So, when you, after this, kung yan, nagsasarili na kayong git, only do the, ano, you can only do the skipping the staging area pag 100% sure na kayo about sa changes. Okay? So, ayun, um, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano, so follow me, guys. So, this time, in our uh, calculator, oh, diba bongga, let's add a subtraction feature in our code. So, mag-add tayo ng variable. So, add tayo ng variable na diff of two numbers. Ayan. Diff of two numbers and then lagay natin dito sa ilalim diff of two numbers equals first number minus second number. Ayan. Mas tanggalin natin to kasi di na siya accurate. Basta alam na natin na sinistore siya dito. Ayan. Then, mag see out din tayo. So, Tapos, minus, equals. Tapos, ito ay dip. Ayan. So, save natin. And then, run natin. Tignan natin kung ano may nyari. So, first number is 5. Second number is 4. There you go. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 5 minus 4 equals 1. So, na-add ba guys yung subtraction feature natin sa ating calculator? Intayin ko kayo guys, ma-add yung subtraction. Again, you just add another variable called diff of two numbers or actually kahit ano, difference. And then ilagay nyo lang kung paano siya nasa store. And then, isi out natin. Nakasunod ba guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes. And please press 1 if na-run nyo. Alright, how about the others? Okay, that pa, uh huh. Mga five more, five more ones, and I'll move on. Uh huh. How about the others? Alright. Okay. Okay, sige. Ayan, mag, mag continue na ako. Ayan, so may changes na tayo. Ayan, so nakita niyo may M na ganon. Explain ko naman yan later. Now, let us check the status again. So, git status. Ayan, there you go. Mm -hmm. Ayan, na meaning na modify natin yung calculator. Meaning, may nagbago sa calculator. May nagbago sa, calcul uh, sa calculator.exe. And then, untrack files. Meaning, parang di pa siya na-add ever. Yun, yun yung meaning na untrack files. Di pa siya na-add ever. So, may bago tayong folder, I guess. Ayan. So, huwag natin pansinin yan. Ayan. So, it says here that both files are modified, uh, modified but not yet staged for commit. So, once again, um, this is how you skip the staging area. So, 100% sure na tayo na gusto na natin magkaroon ng subtraction feature yung calculator. So, what we have to do is git commit dash am. Ayan, dash am. And then, type natin yung commit. Added subtraction feature. Ulitin ko, nagbago, nakalag dito, modified. Modified and not stage for commit, meaning may nagbago sa dalawang files. And then untrack files, meaning may bagong na-add sa ating directory or folder. And then, uh, di natin siya, pansin nyo, di natin siya i-add, di na tayo nag-git add. 
So, magdirekto na tayo, git commit dash am, and then the comment added subtraction feature. Ayan, so, i-press enter ko na, guys. Ayan, so, two files change, five insertions, and five deletions. So, now na, may nagbago na talaga sa ating, ano, uh, na-track niya na yung pagbabago, na-track niya na yung, na permanent na yung ating subtraction feature. Ayan. So, ayan. So, before I move on ulit, guys, please press 1. Sorry kung medyo na ano kay sa press 1. This is, I, this is just really, ano, para malaman ko din kung nakakasunod kayo. Ayan. How about yung others? Puro same names yung nakikita ko. How about yung iba? Sumusunod ba iba? Or ginagawa ko itong podcast? Oh, wag yung gawing podcast to. Sayang naman tong opportunity. Matuto kayo ng pen. Ayan. All right. Ayan, now let, uh, uh, let's move on. Now let us create another file. This time, hindi na tayo magko-code kasi medyo hassle pa. Echo. <laughs> Ayan, marunong na siya. Echo one, tama. So let us create another file. This time, text file lang. Kasi ang purpose lang nito ay mapakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano naman mag-remove ng file. So syempre, um, let us say echo. So di ba ang echo sa so Windows, pang parang display siya. For ang echo command for a Linux command is for writing content to a file. Again, yung echo command sa Windows is to um, display. Ang alam ko ha, ang display. Pero sa Linux, ang echo is para makapagsulat ka sa isang file. So, echo, hello, and then greater than symbol, file1.txt. Ayan. Ayan. So, enter natin yan. So, pag nakita nyo ay... Ayan, meron na tayong file 1 sa ating directory. Ayan, nakalagay hello. So, bakit? Sabi nyo, Ate Darla, ba't yun tayo nag-new test notepad? Ganun, ganun. Um, ito yung purpose ng ating <laughs> workshop is matuto kayo ng iba't ibang commands. Ayan, pat para hindi na kayo pa, ano din, pa lipat-lipat ang Windows. So, now that we have a file 1, the txt, i-commit na natin. So, git add. This time, since ang i-add ko lang naman ay yung file 1. Git add file 1, the txt. And then, we commit it. Git commit slash m added a file. I joke lang. Created a file. Para mas accurate. Created a file. There you go. Ayan. So, pag na-commit na natin, ayan. Pag na-commit na natin, ayan. Created, ayan. Created a file. Let us now remove the file. So, mag-remove naman tayo. So, again, yun nga. Parang ito yung perp. Ang purpose ng ito is mapakita ko lang sa inyo kung Paano mag-remove ng file? So, to remove a file, just type rm file1.txt. So, remove file1.txt. So, this is another Linux command. Ayan. Remove file1.txt. So, press enter. Ayan. So, again, what we did is that gumawa tayo ng file na ang laman ay hello. Inad natin yung file1 sa staging area. And then, nag-commit tayo ng file. So, created a file. And then, this time, ni-remove natin yung file one. So, remember, no? No ex uh, example ko kanina dun sa PowerPoint, ginagawa na natin yun, yung ni-remove natin yung file 2, tapos ganun-ganun. So, yun yung pinapakita ko ngayon. Ayan. Now, if we check the status, no? If we check the status, na-detect na niya, no? Na na-delete yung file one. So, this means, dinelete natin yung file once sa ating directory or folder, but nasa staging area pa rin siya, diba? So, deleted file one. Wala na siya dito, pero sa staging area siya. Pero ang nakalagay naman dito, deleted file one. So, yun yung parang example ko kanina. So, ayan. So, paano natin mapuprove na itong file one, no, ay nasa staging area pa rin? Tina natin to. So, git, um, type natin, git ls dash files. And ayun, di ba? Nasa file 1. Nandito pa rin siya. So, meaning kahit wala na siya dito sa ano, sa ating directory, nasa parang git repository pa rin siya. Kasi hindi pa natin nakokomit eh. Deleted lang siya sa staging. Parang, parang may label lang siya sa staging area na deleted siya. Pero since hindi pa natin nakokomit, hindi talaga siya fully deleted. So, git ls-files, nandito pa rin siya. Nag-gets ba yun, guys? Na gets ba yung parang nanyare or ulitin ko? Ayan, nice. So, like I explained earlier, uh, emphasize ko, even if the file is deleted in the directory, we still have to use the add and command and the commit command. So, 
Para matanggal natin siya dito, i-add na natin. So, git add, i-dot na natin to para all. Actually, hindi. File 1 yan. File 1. Git add file 1.txt. And then, i-commit na natin. Git commit dash m remove ah, deleted na lang. Deleted file 1. There. Alright. So, pag chinect natin to, no? pag chinect natin tong git ls dash files, wala na siya. Yan. So, here's a tip, no? You can actually do both na. Kasi, di ba, if ayaw nyo na magganto, yung buong gantong process, di ba nakitik itong git rm? You can actually use git rm. Yan, git rm. So, pwede ng git rm. Ang difference kasi nito, ito, additional information lang, guys. So, pag nagsisimula yung git, uh, pag nagsisimula yung command sa git, it meaning, isa siyang git command. If not, isa siyang Linux command. So, ayan. Again, Ang commands, pag nagsisimula sa git, ang tinatawag sa kanya, isang git command. Pero pag hindi, Linux command. Parang ganun. Parang ganun yung understanding ko. Ayan. Uh, now, napansin nyo, no? Ang dami na nating nagawang commits. So, i-clear natin to. Ayan. Now, na ang dami natin nagawang commits, i-ano ka rin to. Ayan. Uh, we can now check all our commits using git log. Ayan. Ayan. So, Ayan. So, baba tayo, no? Ayan. Pwede tayo bumabang. So, kanina, ito yung pinagawa kong unang commit. Tapos, di ba may nagtanong? Ito yung nag-commit ulit ako para mapakita. And then, ito yung third initial commit ko. So, yung makita nyo on my identification, unique identifier, yung author, at email, kailan ko ginawa, at oras. So, yun yung ating git log. Pero, you know, sometimes masyadong mahaba, no? Gusto natin, like, yung shortcut lang. So, ex uh, exit muna tayo dito. So, to exit, please press Q. Again, git log to check the commits. And then, if done na kayo, please press Q. Ayan. So, ang shortcut naman for git log is git log dash dash one line. Again, git log dash dash one line. So, it summarizes the list kanina. There you go. So, parehas na no, yung first first. Uh, seven digits. Ayan, seven digits pinapakita niya. So, ito yung summary no, ng ating git log. And as you can see, may ano dito, head pointing to arrow, tapos master. So, that means, um, yung head natin, yung kung nasan tayo ngayon, ay nasa master branch. So, yung branches kasi, uh, i-explain niya ni Junel later. Pero basically, yung idea niyan, pwedeng maraming branches. Tapos, kunyari, parang pwede ka, basta, <laughs> parang pwede mo i-duplicate ulit lahat, tapos, Barang different branch naman. Parang ganun. So, ayan. As you can see, uh, that means ang master branch natin, yung master branch natin, nandito tayo ngayon sa deleted file 1. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa ano. So, did you guys see the same? Uh, actually, yung iba, baka walang ganito. Uh, kasi ito yung pinigay ko example. Pero, do you guys see the same? Do you guys have the same git log? Na nag-initial commit tayo, nag-add tayo ng subtraction, tapos nag-create tayo ng file, and dinilit natin yung file. So, please press 1 if you guys see the same log. Alright, continue tayo. So, there's actually then a similar shortcut for git status. Follow me so I can so uh, so I can show you. So, balik tayo sa ating calculator and this time, mag add tayo ng multiplication feature. So, aha, add tayo. So, <laughs> Ayan. Pinadahan-dahan ko talaga. <laughs> Pero may copy ako dito ng buong code. Ayan. Proud of two numbers. Add natin. Tapos, baguhin natin to. Wait lang. Ayan. Proud of two numbers. And then this time, asterisk. And then, see out natin to. And then, this time, we use X kasi... Uh, mas clear yon Prod of two numbers. There you go. Save natin. And then, e run natin. I-clear ko to. Alright. 5 times 4. Ayan. So, may multiplication feature na ang ating calculator. Ayan. So, ayan. So, habang ginagawa nyo itong um, inaantay ng feature, Gusto ko rin na mag-add tayo ng another file. So, clear ko rin to, guys. And then, mag-add tayo ng another file. This time, echo hello world naman ang ilagay natin. Tapos, 
file to the txt so yun naman yung ganun yun naman yung ano natin so ang point ito no kanina naki nakita niyo yung shortcut no ng git log this time makita niyo naman yung shortcut ng git status kasi kanina di ba sobrang ano parang ang daming nakalagay hindi na natin parang ang gulo sa utak so ayan so i press ano natin to so again, para makasabay kayo, ang ginawa natin is nag-add tayo ng multiplication feature sa ating calculator and nag-add tayo ng another file which is hello world. So kung kanina, um, file 1 lang na hello na wala na ngayon, this time mayroon naman tayong hello world na file 2. Ayan. So when we run git status, ayan. Wait lang, before I mag-run ng git status, sige guys, you know the drill. Press 1 if naka, if na modify yun na yung ating calculator and nakagawa na kayo ng hello world na file 2. Alright. Uh -huh. Okay, so now let's run git status. No? Like I said kanina, it's very detailed. Parang ano yan, malay ko ba kung ano yan, di ba? So, pwede to magkaroon ng shortcut. So, di ba, kung ang git log ay dash dash one line, this time ang git status is Dash S. There. So, may mga symbols kayo makikita. Ayan. So, ito yung shortcut ng git status. Now, explain ko sa inyo yung symbols, no? The left side, no? With the two symbols, with the two M symbols, ang meaning niyan, modified. Right? Ayan. Ah, uh, sorry, isa pa. So, ulitin ko lang ha. Yung mga nandito sa left column, ito yung staging area natin. And then, right column yung files. So, yun. Explain ko lang. So, again, the two M symbols right here, naka-red siya kasi... Parehas lang to, modified, ayun o, modified. Meaning may nagbago pero wala pa sa staging area. So, and the right, ayan. So, the red M means modified but not in the staging area. Same with the red question marks, no? They are not in the staging area. Pero bakit a uh, question mark? So, question mark means new file. So, may bago tayong file na VS Code and file to .txt. So, ayun, again, M is modified, uh, not in the staging area. Question mark is Modify, ah, sorry, ulit. M is modified, not in the staging area. Question mark is new file, not in the staging area. So, another pop question tayo. What, that is, what does it mean when it's red and has a symbol of N? M. M. Ayan, ano meaning nun? Ano meaning nitong symbol na to? Modification, true. Yeah, uh, modified na hindi sa staging area. Ito namang, ito namang question mark. What does that mean? New file, correct. So again, na, color red is not in the staging area. All right? Ayan, thank you. Ayan, moving on, let us now add the calculator files to the staging area. So this time, ang i-add lang natin sa, uh, sa ating staging area ay itong dalawa. Ayan, so wag yung muna pansinin to. So just follow me, guys. Git add calculator. The CPP calculator calculator dot exe. There. So i add natin sa staging area yan. Press enter. Now tina natin like git status na summarize. Ayan iba na. So that that's uh, that means that ayan na uh, as you can see it is now in green indicator indicating <laughs> that calculator that cpp and calculator that exe are now in the staging area pero itong dalawa ay hindi ayan so uh, the same ba para sa base inyo yung git status natin guys all right para has okay continue tayo how about the others? Isa, dalawa lang yun na gano, yung ano, yung nakasunod. Yes, okay, sige. Alright. Now, let's add another feature, no? Kunyari, hindi pa tayo satisfied sa ating calculator. Let's add another division feature. So, again, you know the drill. Uh -huh. Quotient of two numbers. Plus this time, uh -huh. mag, ano tayo let? Numbers, division, and then see out the letter. Out, division equals out of two numbers. Ayan. So, ayan, meron tayo division feature. So, habang inintay ko kayo mag-modify um, or mag-add ng another feature sa ating calculator, do you guys have any comments in the way I teach? 
masyado ba akong mabilis, masyado bang malakas boses ko, do you guys want some background music para hindi boring? Uh, kamusta naman? <laughs> kamusta yung, ano, yung the way I teach? Ayan, parang ngayon pa lang maano ko na. Ayan, makang busy sila. Makang busy yung iba. Sige, I'll wait for you guys. Ayan, so please, please, please tell me lang if masyado malakas boses ko or masyado akong mabilis or if may di kayo nagets para makasunod tayo lahat. Ayan. No error so far. All good. All right. Ayan. So let's save it, no? Wait lang. I'm gonna clear this muna. Let's save it and then run it. Do not end. 20 and 5. There. So kompleto ngayon ang ating um, calculator. Ayan. Let's check the git status a little. Ayan. So you can see. Now we have two green M's and two red M's. So what happened here, no? So leftmost column ng mga letter M, ayan, this one, um, yung version na yan ay hanggang multiplication lang. Again, yung nandito sa green M, yung wala pang multiplication. So the green, this green M, the calculator, um, ayan, the calculator files na nasa green M ay yung multiplication feature. On the other hand, the red M's has the division feature. So, ang pinaka-updated dito ay yung M. Again, green M indicating, ito yun, no? ito yung kanina. Yan. Diba yan? Green M meaning multiplication feature pa lang. Yun yung nasa staging area. Pero red M, yung division feature na hindi pa natin ina-add. Ayan. So, look closely sa calculator files. Leftmost column hanggang multiplication pa lang yung program. Ayun yung nasa staging area, rightmost column, may division na yung calculator, but wala pa sa staging area. So, all the uh, drill ulit tayo. If nagets yung gantong mga symbols, please press 1. Alright. So, I'm assuming, no, pare-parehas tayo lahat ng um, nangyayari. Now, let's add the modified calculator to the staging area and check the status. So, git, add ulit tayo. Wait lang. Actually, mag ano lang ako. There, git add calculator.cpp and calculator.exe. You add it, git status dash s. Lahat naka green na. And then we commit it na. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. uh, git add calculator. Ayan. So, git commit dash m. Added multiplication. Sorry. I wait lang, wait lang. Uh huh. Ayan, tama. Added. Nakapag add na ba tayo ng multiplication? Ah, yun, di pa natin nakakomit. Tama. Added multiplication and division feature. Ayan. Because we also created a new file. So, di pa natin natin. Created a new file. Ay, sorry. Ayan. Created a new. File. Ayan. So, balik tayo sa git status. Makita lang natin, no? Ayan. So, ito lang natitira. Wait lang. So, i-add na lang natin pala lahat, guys. Sorry, sorry. Add na rin natin lahat to. It commit M natin. Added the rest to staging area. Ayan. Again, okay. So, ang ginawa ko, ha? Ang ginawa ko, si Bani, dito tayo, i-commit natin, mag-commit tayo ng, uh, i-commit natin lahat. I-commit natin tong dalawang sa staging area. So, added multiplication and division feature, created a new file. So, git status, ang nandito na staging area ay itong new file. So, nag-git add tayo para ma-add ulit to sa staging area and then nag-commit tayo, added the rest to the staging area. Ay, added the rest. Ay, sorry, hindi staging area. Added the, ano, committed the rest na lang. Sorry, sorry. Committed the rest. Then you press enter. Ayan. Ulitin ko lang guys yung ginawa ko para hindi tayo lost. Again, nandito tayo no? So pinakita ko sa inyo na ano na, na, na staging area na nag-commit tayo ng multiplication division feature and nag-create tayo ng new file. And then get status, nandito pa yung file kasi <laughs> medyo mali yung ginawa ko dito. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. So staging area and then in natin lahat sa staging area Tapos, kinumit natin. Committed the rest. So, pag nag-git status tayo, clean na dapat lahat yan. 
So, sorry guys for the no for the kind of mix up. Pero ayun, ang shortcut ang summary nito, we added multiplication and division feature and nag-add tayo ng file 2. So, nakasunod ba doon sa part na 'yon? Hintayin natin sige. And how about the others? All right. So, ano na? Um Okay pa ba kayo guys? Do you guys want a break? Mga 2 minute break. Let's do that. Gusto niyo ba 'yon? Kasi medyo madami na tayong nadaanan, no? Kasi after this, dito na um pupunta na tayo sa parang point na tingnan natin yung difference nila, ganun ganon. So, 2 minute break will do, no? So, yeah, let's do a 2 minute break. Papatugtog muna ako. Nang super bilis lang. I actually wag na 2 minute break. So, CR kayo. Uh, inom ng tubig, o kaya, you know, do a kind of a recap. Uh, ayun, I'll see you guys in a bit. Five minutes? Bakit? Masyado bang overwhelming? <laughs> Nige, mga 10.32, mga ganun. So far, no, ang natutunan nating um, commands ay git config, git add, git commit, rm, echo, ganun. So tapos yung status ngayon ay clean na, meaning lahat ay okay. Actually, guys, wait lang, wag ito sundan. Check ko lang yung ating logs. Ayan, committed the rest. Okay. We're all, ano. Ah, wait lang. I can I can give you the ano take lang kasi meron akong um parang kodigo here this one Ayan Let me receive more Lawrence Eh one more minute Okay, start tayo guys. Now I want us to check the changes we made to the code. So clear natin lahat na para malinis ulit. Ulitin lang natin yung git, uh, git log. So again, in the git log, no, uh, you'll be able to see this unique identifier. And then, ah, yung master ulit, uh, meaning master, we are in the master branch. Kasi yun nga, um, let me show you guys. Uh huh. Wait lang. Para mabilis lang din. Ayan, no? Ayan. So, pakita ko sa inyo. So, in Git kasi we have this thing called parang branching. Ayan, no? So, nandito tayo ngayon sa master branch. And then, pwede kayo gumawa ng isa pang branch. Tapos, parehas parang iba naman yung gagawin mo. Parang kukuha ka ng kopya ng master branch and then iba yung gagawin mo. And then, this time, kunyari, nandito ka. Tapos, gusto mo, uh, gusto mo mag, mag parang branch out. Pwede ka gumawa ng isa pang branch. So ngayon, uh, since yun nga, medyo advanced siya, dun siya sa afternoon session i-discuss. Pero right now, ang kailangan mo lang malaman sa master is we're in the master branch and wala tayong any other branch. So master branch, ang tawag dun parang, parang yun yung pinaka, ayun, pinaka main branch. Ganun. Ayan, ang cute pa o. Oh, git branching. Ayan. So, ayan, master branch. Ayan. So, may mga branching, branching pa. Ayan. So, medyo advanced na kasi siya for this course. Ayan. So, balik tayo, no? Again, in GitLog, we can see the unique identifier, the author, the date and time, and the um, the message. Ayan. So, iba-iba tayo, no? Ng unique identifier per commit. Di, ko, di lang ako sure. Iba rin ba yung, ano nyo? Yung commit, uh, unique identifier nyo dito? Ayan nga, tama. Parang backup project. Uh, iba-iba tayo ng unique identifier per commit, right? 
Ayan. So, importante na nakatingin din kayo sa unique identifier nyo kasi dito tayo mag-focus right now. So, ayan. So, to know the difference between what we did and we, when we were committing the subtraction picture, uh, alit ha. So, di ba may unique identifier? Tapos, uh, exit tayo, press Q. Punta tayo sa GitLog online. So, focus tayo here sa ano, subtraction feature. So, to know the difference between what we did when we were committing the subtraction feature to what we have in the code now, just take a note of this unique identifier. So, let's do, ayan. Type natin, git diff. And git diff. And now, we have two ways no, to call this commit para makita natin. First is, yun nga, yung unique identifier. Yung mga this one. Second is, Pwede kang mag, ano, git, um, git, uh, git diff head, and then tilde. So, may tilde na sign. And then, bilangin natin. Parang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 yan. So, yun yung, ano, isang way kung paano bumalik sa, or kung paano tingnan yung difference na isang commit. But now, gusto ko na matutunan yung unique identifier. So, let's go ahead and type the unique identifier. So, for me, ang unique identifier ko is 0B. 8959C. So, type niyo yung sa inyo. So, added subtraction feature. Dito tayo ha, sa added subtraction feature. So, yung ano pala, kanina yung head till the 5. Um, anin kasi parang we're gonna go 5 steps back. So, yun yung parang head till the 5. Pero since ayaw ko namang magbilang pa tayo, mag-focus na lang tayo sa unique identifier. Ayan. So, na-type niyo na ba guys yung unique identifier niyo for the added subtraction feature? Alright, add na add na daw. Ah, uh, nasulat na daw ni Vince. How about the others? Alright. Sige. Continue tayo. So, pag in-enter ko to, no? Um, yan. yan. Pag in-enter ko to, makikita natin yung difference natin with the code we have now to the code na meron tayo ngayon. So, comparing it, we will see that the ones Colored in green, yun yung updated code natin. E yung red, yun yung code natin kanina dun sa difference. So, di ba? nag -ano tayo, nag-diff tayo. So, yung green ulit, ay yung, sorry, yung red ulit, ito yung nasa code natin nung difference pa lang, nung, nung nasa commit na subtraction feature. Then, ito yung na-add natin, yung code natin na meron tayo ngayon. So, clear? Clear ba tayo here, guys? Ayan, we also added a uh, hello world file. So, clear dito yung get diff difference ng isang commit sa current commit that we have or current repository that we have. So, ayan, wala pa dito yung dalawang variables. Ayan. So, eto, eto pala guys, yung mga white. I think ang meaning nyan yung parang nandito na talaga ever since the, ano, the initial commit. So, pares ba tayo na nakikita sa ating screen and gets ba yung get diff? Please press 1. Alright, parehas na. Okay, good. So, cute tayo, no? Let's exit this ulit. Ayan. So, yun yung, yun yung diff, no? But this time, we want to go to that ano mismo. Go to that commit. Wait lang. Uh, I, ano ko, para mas kita yun. So, diba itong diff, nakita tayong difference. But if you want to go to that ano mismo, that commit, you have to type git checkout. Git checkout and then... I-type ulit natin. Oh my gosh, ang haba. Wait lang, wait lang. I-ano ka to. I-clear natin to, no? Punta tayong git log one line. Ayan. Again, yung git diff, makita yung difference. But yung git checkout, ayan, type natin ulit tong identification number. 0P8959C. Yung git checkout, makakapunta talaga tayo mismo. So, pag, um, uh, pag in-enter ko to, ayan, nakita yung VS Code. Nagbago. But I think sa other IDE and sa DevC, kasi sa DevC, tinay ko to kanina, hindi nyo makikita yung nagbago. But don't worry, kasi nakalagay naman sa terminal na the head is now at this type of commit. Okay? So, again, no, yung get checkout, makikita nyo mismo yung nagbago. So you can see, wala dito yung, yung ano natin, yung multiplication and division feature. Wala, no? So, nandito tayo ngayon sa subtraction feature, yung commit na to. Pero sa VS Code ko kasi nakikita. Pero sa DevC or other IDE, I'm not sure. Pero pag nakita nyo naman tong uh, message na to, ayan, rest assured, nandito kayo sa commit na to. So, kuha ba yun, guys? 
Nakuha yung ganong concept. Again, no, get diff is difference. Makikita natin yung ganong kahaba. And then get checkouts is we get to go there mismo. Now, if you want to go back to the master, get checkout. Master lang. So, yun yung purpose ng branches. Get checkout, master. So, pag may branches na later, kala Junel, pwede ka rin kunyari may branch name ka, like, ano, parang um, trial. Pwede ka rin pumunta sa branch na yun. Actually, tino ko lang ako ano mangyayari pag iba. Ayan. So, error kasi wala naman tayong ano. So, balik tayo sa master, no? Ayan. So, as you can see, bumalik na tayo dito. Sa ating latest feature, latest, kung nasan tayo ngayon. So, switch to branch master. Ayan. So, okay, no? So, now, ano tayo ngayon? Um, very, very, ano tayo, uh, dito? very clear, ayun, very updated tayo ngayon. Now, gusto ko ngayon i-upgrade yung code natin, yung calculator natin. Hindi ako satisfied sa hanggang division lang siya. So, let's add a module of a feature. So, if you don't know what a modulo is, it's like division, no? But it returns the remainder instead of the quotient. Again, yung modulo, uh, division siya, pero ang ang uh, return yung value ay remainder hindi yung ano <clears throat> hindi yung ano yung sagot so at tayo you no know? so again let's go to this again wait lang is shortcut ko na shortcut ko na guys ha para ano you know? ayan so ang ginawa ko dito uh, mod of two numbers nag-add ako ng modulo and then yung modulo percentage no for the formula for uh, percentage ang ginagamit niya so check uh, save natin no and then run lang ulit natin just to uh, oh no wait lang run lang ulit natin yung ano so natin uh, ano bang ano mm -hmm. ayan so 50 modulo 3 is 2 ayan so ayan nagwo-work na yung ating modulo feature by the way guys yung na-click ko kanina Ano siya, no? Um, another VS Code feature na, yun nga, kasi pwedeng makatulong, <coughs> sorry. Ayan, um, pwedeng, ano, makita agad. So, parang git din siya, ganun. Nakatulong lang siya, yan. So, huwag na natin pansinin yan. Baka, magulaan pa tayo. Alright, so, add natin to sa staging area. So, pag chinek natin yung git status natin, Modified. Pero let's add both. So, get add dot. Ay, wait lang. Nakapag-add na ba kayo ng modulo? Or gusto niyo bigay ko sa inyo yung code? <laughs> Sayang naman. I-code yun na. Sayang. Ayan. So, i-get add natin to. Add natin yung modulo feature natin. Ayan. So, when we check get status, nandun siya. Ayan. Uh, nakakasunod ba so far? One. Okay. How about the others? Okay. Ayan. So, nag-add tayo ng uh, mod modulo, right? Let's add another feature. Ayan. This time, the calculator will now be able to get the result of the first integer raised to the power of a number. So, parang kunyari, 3 to the power of 2, ganun. So, to do that, add mo na tayo. Naging C++ ano, yung tutorial. Ayan, add mo na tayo. Include Tmat. So, that means mag a tayo ng header. Yan. Parang, uh, basta parang siyang library, ganun. Tapos, add tayo ng another integer para di tayo magulahan. Kasi, ang purpose nito is for temporary lang. Ipapakita lang ako sa inyo, guys. So, add natin, pow of first number. Ayan. And then, isi out natin agad. No. Out. Ayan. So, ang gaya na ginawa ako, di ba kanina nag-modulo feature tayo. This time, mag-add tayo ulit ng another feature, which is power. So, ang power pa ng exponent. Yan, hindi yung kay Kong. Ha? Power yun. So, nag, uh, nag, ano ako ng library na include si Matt, ang header, file, ganun. Tapos, nag-variable ako, pow of first number. And then, nag-see out ako. Di na ako na ganito. Kasi, may gusto lang naman ako ipakita sa inyo. So, see out, power of the first number, uh, first number power to 
the number of three. Ayan. So, pag niran natin to, save natin. Tapos, pakita ko lang sa inyo, pag niran natin to, ayan, yung first number natin, kunyari, ay three, tapos two. So, nakita natin 27. So, three times three times three is 27. So, yun yung parang power. So, intayin ko lang kayo ma-add tong feature na to, guys. Ang purpose nito, guys, is um, mag-unstage na tayo. So, di ba kanina na-explain ko kanina sa PowerPoint? Pwede tayo mag-unstage. Right? Pwede tayo mag-unstage. Ayan. Ayan. So, na-add na ba, guys, ang ating another extra-extra feature sa ating calculator? Meron ba dito hindi pa marunong ng C++? Or lahat naman kayo ay marunong ng C++? Ayan. Yeah, intay lang natin. Ayan, naka 2 minutes na. Uh, are you guys still here? Nakapag-add na ba tayo ng power? Ganon-ganon. Alright. Okay, good, good, good. How about the others? Para presan talaga yun din na nakikita ko. Sayang naman yung punta nyo here. Ayan. How about the others? Ayan. Okay, sige. Done. Alright. Nice. Now na, ano, um, let's go back to the terminal, no? Clear this again? Kasi ayoko talaga ng makalat na, <laughs> na interface. Ayan. And then, let's add them all. Git add. There you go. And then, git status dash s. So, you can see modified, no? Nandito. So, ang version na to, nandito yung modulo and power. Ayan. So, yan yung status. Now, what if we change our mind and decide to not add the power and modulo feature yet? So, naisip natin na mas maganda if hanggang division muna ang magagawa ni program. So, how will we unstage this? Kasi, paano natin itong matanagal sa unstage? Uh, sa staging area or sa index, how will we remove what we just did to the staging area? So, meron, no? So, we type, git restore, dash, dash, staged. Then, the file name. So, kunyari, ito lang gusto mo i-unstage, uh, pwede naman yun. But, since, is, uh, since lahat naman to ay, ay parang count as one lang, i-dot na natin. So means uh that means we're gonna unstage everything. Ayan, so so get restored dash dash staged dot. Uh ulitin ko lang ha, nag uh inad natin lahat sa staging area, sinek natin yung status and gusto natin tanggalin. Ayaw pala natin muna ng modulo and power feature. So i i uh, unstage natin siya. So get restore dash dash staged dot. Then if we check the status again, m na siya. So that's how we unstage uh, files in the staging area. So, gets ba yung concept or gets ba yung parang nanyare yung nanyare right now? Alright, gets naman. Okay, nice. Okay, so, alright, we're almost done with git. Um, Mayabat na tayo matapos. Let's finish our calculator na. So, actually, I tapos na tayo sa calculator natin, no? Uh, I just want to remove this super extra feature kasi medyo magulo siya for the, ano, for the um, tao dito for the calculator. Hindi naman scientific calculator gagawin natin. So, remove na natin tong uh, mga uh, inad natin for the power feature. So, again, no? Balik ko. Ang i-remove ko ay itong uh, library, yung header file. I-remove ko tong integer. Tapos, i-remove ko din tong cout. Ayan. So, yan. Balik na tayo sa hagang modulo feature. Ayan. Ayan, so save natin. Do you, uh, do you guys still to, uh, do you guys still, and then, sige, run na lang natin para makita natin. So, check lang natin yung, ayan, so, hanggang module na lang siya. So, it's working, everything is good. I-add na natin. Git add dot, and then git commit dash m, added modulo, modulo feature. There you go. So, ano ginawa ko? Tinanggal ko lang, guys. Uh, Nag-unstage tayo, tinanggal ko lang yung power features of calculator kasi gusto ko simple calculator lang. Tapos, inad ko siya sa uh, staging area, tapos, i-commit ko na siya. Ayan. So, if nakasunod, guys, again, please press 1. Alright. Nice, nice. Okay, good. So, 
Uh, pag check, uh, i-check lang natin na yung GitLab na for a short time. So ayan. So ang dami nating ginawa kanina, no? Pero hindi yun lahat, ano, hindi yun lahat na add, yung power ganyan. Ang latest lang na add ay ito. So ang dami nating nagawa, pero since ngayon na tayo nag-commit, ngayon lang siya napunta sa log. Ayan, so clear natin. So there you go. Let's add a temporary feature on it because what I'll teach now is how to restore a file in an earlier version. So actually, itong ano, calculator, tapos na siya. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. Ito na actually yung ilalagay natin sa GitHub. But for the sake of this situation, di ba kanina pinagyayabang ko na yung Git, pwede siyang, mag, ano, pwede siyang pumunta sa past versions niya. Yun yung naman papakita ko ngayon. So let's add something that we regret. So for example, our professor said, at the end of the calculator, I want to see a pyramid using an asterisk. So, familiar ba kayo sa machine problem na yun? Ulitin ko lang ha, we are done with the calculator. Ito na yung iaan natin sa GitHub. Pero since um, kanina may feature nga, kanina sinabi ko may feature tayo na pwedeng ibalik yung mismong, ano, parang, kung nasa, basta pwede natin mabalik, no? Pwede natin mabalik yung earlier version. Pwede natin ma-restore yung file in an earlier version. mag a tayo ng temporary feature for the sake lang. Ah, uh, Tapos ngayon, ang sabi ng professor natin, kilangan sa uh, end ng calculator natin, may pyramid using an asterisk. So, bakit ko naisip yung temporary feature na yun? Kasi no first year ako, ganun tanong yung mga pumatay sa akin. I hated those kind of machine problems. Yung kilang gumawa ng shape using asterisk. <laughs> Ayan, so kunyari, ayun yung situation natin. Kunyari, sabi natin, hala, magkapasa na. Tapos ang bonus point, sayang naman. Ang bonus points ay kilang lang naman maglagay ng asterisk, ng shape ng asterisk. So, kunyari, kinopy lang natin yung code sa Stack Overflow. Then, nakalimutan natin delete yung source. So, lagay ako dito ng source. This is from... Actually, guys, ikakopy-paste ko na lang sa inyo. Ayan. So, lagay natin to dito. No? So, new, extreme, very amazing feature. Ayan. So, bigay ko to sa inyo. Here. So, please, paki-add sa ating uh, calculator. So, Ayan, nagmamadali na ako. Buti na lang, nasa stack overflow yung, ano, yung solution. Makaka, magkakaroon ako ng bonus point. Ganyan. So, nagmamadali na ako. So, like, oh no, 30 seconds before the deadline. Ganyan. So, binema ko na lang kung ano na lang nakita ko sa stack overflow. Yun na lang yung nilagay ko. So, save natin. Tapos run natin. Tignan natin kung anong mayayari. Ay, napindot ko ulit. <laughs> Ayan, clear natin to para malinis. Ay. Ayan. So, let's say... You run natin. Ayan. 50 and 3. Ay! Sorry, guys. Nagkaroon ako ng extra key. Ayan. 50, 3, enter number of row 6. Diba? Wow! Ang galing! Ayan, wow, ang galing na ano. Sure na ako dito. Hindi ko na kailangan i-add. Basta may ano. Basta may... May bonus points na ako na may asterisk na pyramid. So, may lumabas din pa sa inyo na pyramid, guys. Eh, hintayin lang natin. O, ba Kahit kopya na nga yung code, nahihinapan pa tayo yun, no? Ayan, may lupas na pyramid. Ayoko talaga yung mga machine problems na to, promise. Ayan, so may pyramid na tayo. Wow, okay, good. Na-save ko, na-run ko. I-commit natin agad na hindi natin na-add. I-commit natin agad. So, git commit dash am. Added awesome asterisk feature. Gawin nyo to, guys, ha? Kailangan natin masundan. Ayan, so. Nice. Nakakapag-commit na ako. Ayan. So, nakomit ka na ba? Ayan. So, let's see. Nakomit na natin, no? So, bago natin mapasa sa canvas, na-realize natin na, hala, 30 seconds na lang before the deadline. I forgot to delete the source. Nakita mo. AM. Um, di ba kanina, ano? Kanina, may, uh, paano ba? Kasi di ba, ang main concept ng, or ang main system ng Git, you have the file, you have the staging area and you have the repository. In every file, dapat pumunta mo siya sa staging area, di ba? Um, yung dash am, skip niya na yun. Skinskip niya na yung staging area. Meaning, ready siya mag-commit agad. Kasi di ba, we have this function or uh, command na git add. So, dapat ginagawa yan every time na before we commit. Kasi, we have this diagram, di ba? Pero, yung commit dash am, ayun, recta commit na tayo. Mag-recta commit. Nag-gets ba? Ah, alright, alright, nice. 
So ayan, nakapag-commit na tayo. Woohoo! Na-add na natin yung awesome asterisk feature. Tapos, ano, tapos may bonus points na tayo. Pero nung nirun natin ulit, nakita natin na, hala, nakalimutan ko i... Nakalimutan natin i, ano, itanggalin tong source. Makakita ni Professor Thor, patay tayo. Ganun. So, syempre, we have get to the rescue. So, puna tayong get log. Nagets ba pa? Actually, nagets nyo ba yung scenario na ginagawa ko? Na may nakalimut na nag-commit tayo agad, pero since committed na, di ba? Na staging area, pwede pa tayo mag-unstage. This time, sa commit, since permanently na siya, um, paano natin mababalik yung, ano, yung version na wala pa tong source? So, nagigets ba yung ginagawa ko ngayon na nag-add tayo ng temporary feature, and then nag-commit tayo agad, tapos nakalimutan natin na tanggalin tong source? So, nagets ba yung situation natin ngayon? <laughs> yung ngayon? Or explain ko ulit. Explain ko ulit. Ah, okay. Nagets naman. Alright. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. So, no need to explain. So, ayan. Parang malapit na lang yung deadline 30 seconds. Ganun. So, mabilisan. <laughs> Getch. Alright. Mabilisan ano lang. So, git log one line. Git log dash dash one line. So, nandito tayo ngayon, added us some asterisk feature. Eh, gusto natin mabalik to. So, hindi natin gagawin yung checkout. Kasi yung checkout, sinicheck lang natin. Pero, ang gusto natin gawin, mabalik talaga to. As matanggal to. Kasi makikita yun sa GitHub eh. Yung mga commits yung makikita sa GitHub. So, ayan. So, syempre, mas pipiliin natin na hindi mahuli na lang, no? Kesa na magkaroon ng bonus points. Uh, so, what, what we have to do is, git restore. Dash, dash. Source. Again, pwede kang gumamit ng head tilde, but this time we're gonna go to the identification number. So, balik na kayo sa identification number. So, i -tang, uh, take a look of this lang. Just type nyo. 27B 7B4 58A. 27B4 Ah, tama. Tapos, don't forget to add dot, meaning we're gonna I know, restore everything, everything file. Ganun. Everything, everything the files. Kasi pwede niyan specific files lang eh. Ayan. So, i-ano natin to? I-enter natin to. Ayan, so nawala na. Ay ko, uy, nice, nawala na. So, actually guys, kung gusto niyo naman mag-restore sa hangga, ano, sa, kunyari, gusto niyo bumalik sa parang subtraction feature. Head till the tas ano nang bilang ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ay, 7. Ayan. Pero huwag yung enter. Para pakita ko lang sa inyo. So, nice, no? Natanggal na natin yung asterisk, pati yung source. Kasi mas pipiliin natin yun. Tapos, pagtanggal evidensya. <laughs> yes, exactly. Pagtanggal evidensya. Ayan. So, we went back na to the module of feature. Di na, wala tayong pakis sa bonus feature. Kasi, we'd rather have a perfect score din na mahuli tayo na ano. Na galing lang palang stack overflow. So, ayan, sa DevC pala, guys, hindi nyo makikita yung changes sa mismong IDE, like kanina. Pero, rest assured na nagbago yan. If you guys want to check, um, all you have to do is exit DevC and open the file again. So, yung mga naka-DevC dyan, diba, nakita nyo sa VS Code, ano, um, nakita natin agad yung changes. Sa DevC, you have to close it first and then open the file again. Then, ayun, makita nyo na bumalik yung source code. Ayan, so, ayan na, yes, nakabalik na tayo sa ating, ano, sa ating module of feature lang. Pero, pag pinasa, ta pag pinasa natin to sa GitHub, makikita nyo, makikita pa rin to eh. Ayan, no, makikita pa rin tong added awesome asterisk feature. Sabing, pwede tong ma-access ni, ano, ang, alam ko ha, ang alam ko pwede pa rin siya ma-access. Kasi nire-store pa lang natin eh. Hindi pa tayo talaga nagtatanggal. So, ang ginawa natin, nag-restore pa lang tayo dito sa feature. Bumalik tayo sa feature nito. Pero, um, hindi pa siya natatanggal. Hindi pa natatanggal yung commit na to. So, nandun pa rin yung commit. So, how do we remove that? Kasi, syempre, pwede pa yan makita. So, you can do, uh, what we will do is, git reset dash dash hard and then head and then yung up, ano, up na arrow na symbol. I don't actually recommend deleting a commit, but this is just to show you that it is possible. Ayan, so, nadi tayo ngayon sa ating module of feature. Tapos, gusto natin, pero nakita natin, oh, isa pa guys. Nandito tayo ngayon sa module of feature, pero nakita natin sa git log na nandito pa rin yung commit. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, tatanggalin natin to sa log. 
Okay, so what to do is get reset, dash dash hard, head, tapos ganon. And then let's enter. And head is now an added modulo feature. So if we go to the git log, dash dash one line, ayan, nawala na yung, nawala na yung ano, eto. So nagets ba guys yung concept of deleting and restoring a file to an earlier version? Ah, okay, nagets si Kuya Jens. Hi Kuya Jens. How about the others? Naintay lang natin. Do you guys want me to explain? Oh, ayan, sige. Ayan. How about the other? Sige, press 1 yun talaga na press 1 yan. Kasi we are done with the basics of Git. So, nakasunod ba, guys? So, press 1. If you press 1, meaning nandito pa kayo, uh, nakatapos kayo ng uh, fundamentals of Git. Ayan. Ayan. Nice, nice. Very good. Nice. So, I'm assuming para paras tayo ng logs, ng logs ngayon, no? So, do you guys want another break? Kasi we all, we actually, we only have one R na lang. Tapos, madali na lang yung GitHub. Hmm. Kasi yan pa ba mag-break or tuloy-tuloy rin tayo sa GitHub? Break? Alright, sige. Let's do like a three-minute break ulit. So, magchikahan muna tayo habang break. So, 11.03, mag-start tayo ng GitHub. So, yun na yung Git, guys. Aha, uh -huh, maano. Um, is it easy? Is it hard? <laughs> no, 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 git before, git tutorials before, wala akong mag -get. But I'm so happy na nag-gets ko na siya and I get to share my knowledge with you guys. So, ayan, mag-break muna kayo. So actually, ang sinabi ko, or ang tinuro ko sa inyo, ay super duper basic pa lang. Ay, thank you! Nakakalito for beginner? Hala, really? I mean, yung tinuturo ko ngayon, Kuya Jens? Or okay naman? Ah, ginagawa ng git reset. Ang ginagawa ng git reset, di ba kanina, nag-restore tayo, tapos nag-git log. You can see na mayroon pa dito added awesome feature. Eh, ayaw na... Ah, oh, yung GitHub talaga. Yeah, yeah. Ano, yung adult, yung eto, di ba nagtanggal tayo ng, ano, ng asterisk feature natin. Pero, pag tinitan natin yung logs natin, nandun pa rin yung commit. Eh, ayaw natin yun na makita ng prof natin. So, we do, git reset, dash, dash, dash hard, head, tas upper feature. So, ang nakalagay dito, head is now at added modulo feature. So, compare compare this to this, no? Yung head natin, nasa modulo feature na at wala ng asterisk feature. So, ganun ginagawa ng git reset. Pero, wag yung, wag, uh, as much as possible, especially sa mga, ano, mga personal projects nyo, uh, group projects nyo, wag kayo wag delete ng commit. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano. So, Nagets ba? Uh, A20, 20, 10, 18, <laughs> then 8.10. So later, in the afternoon session, no, Janelle will cover advanced git commands or concepts. Ah, at is easy. <laughs> kasi, what kasi yan yung pangalan mo, student number, exposed ka tuloy. Yan ang student number mo. Anyways, ayun, so mamaya afternoon session, uh, ang tuturo naman ni Janelle ay branching, merging, and forking. So, doon talaga yung papasok na makikipag-collaborate na kayo with other people. So, etong commands pa lang to, uh, etong commands na tinuro ko sa inyo yun, for, ano pa lang to, for personal, ano, Parang how to do Git personally. Pero yung branching, merging, and forking, dun kasi yung matuturo kung paano makipag-collaborate, paano gumawa ng bagong branch. Tapos kunyari, yung branch ko, pati yung branch ng group member ko, paano mamemerge. So, parang ganun. So, I highly recommend you guys to join later kasi parang yun yung continuation nito. So, kulang pa actually yung tinuro ko. And I'm glad Janelle is here to continue this later. So, Ayan, alright, okay na tayo sa Git, guys. Very amazing. Thank you so much. Let's move on to GitHub. So, punta tayo ngayon sa github.com. Alright. So, let's go to github.com and mag-sign in lang kayo. Ayan. Again, no? Ah, kung nag-edit po ako, na-add ko po siya at ayaw ko pala sa idagay. Mm, is that the staging area na? And I'm gonna teach you both na lang. Let me open. Wait lang, guys. Puta lang ako ulit sa git bash. Ayan. So, pag unstaged, um, kaya na nag-add ka sa staging area, pero gusto mo i-tanggalin sa staging area, it's git, wait lang, let me just make sure na tama yung, ano, yung, ayan, git restore, ay, wait lang, or dash dash staged, ace, ah, uh, dot, 
So, yung git restore dash dash stage, ito yung magtatanggal ka ng files sa staging area. Okay? Pero if you want to, um, wait lang. Yeah, but if you want to remove mismo or you want to go to another version sa commits, you do git restore dash dash source and the identification number or head. Nuggets ba? Again, now git restore dash dash staged if you want to unstage. Pero pag ang git restore dash dash source and then yung identification number or yung head, yun yung babalik ka sa previous versions, previous commits. Ayan. Na kuha ba? Ay, I'll wait for Danica to answer ha. Para lahat tayo makasabay sa GitHub. Alright. How about Danica? Si Danica. Ayan, mukhang sinitry pa ni Danica. Sige, Danica, let me know lang. Ayan, nice. Okay na. Alright. Let's go to GitHub na, no? Ayan. So again, no, GitHub is a Git repository hosting service. So, uh, ilalagay natin tong buong Git folder natin. Ay, di ba? Ito, di ba makita nyo? That Git. So that means, itong repository. Yung buong repository natin, which is the local repository, ilalagay natin ngayon sa central repository, which is the GitHub. So, you just have to click the plus button. And then click nyo, new repository. Yan. Are you guys here na? Please press 1. Alright, nice. Okay, so when we click the plus button and we click the new repository, for the new repository name naman, you type come and get it. And para cute, come and get it. So now, i-public nyo lang to para ano, wala namang problem yan. I-public nyo lang yan and then you click create repository. Ayan. So makikita nyo to guys. Ayan, nakikita nyo yan. So, you have to copy the URL. So, click nyo lang to. Copy the URL. Then, go to your local repository. So, nakopy nyo na ba? Nakopy nyo na ba, guys? Yung, uh, yung URL. Ayan, I'll wait for the others. Okay, nice. Now, what we want to do is to push all the code. We did from the local repository. So, lahat to, no? Uh, Ipupush natin to the central or remote repository. So, a meaning ng push is you're pushing up the code. You're pushing it in the remote repository. Anon. So, bago ang lahat, bago, natin mag, bago tayo mag-push, we have to check if clean lahat. Dapat clean lahat yan. Kasi pag nag-push ka, medyo magiging complicated siya. So, make sure if you check git status, dapat clean na siya. Working tree is clean. Ayan, nothing to commit. So now we type git push. So you're pushing it no? in the remote repository. It is used to upload local repository content to our remote repository. So pushing is how you transfer commits from your local to our remote repo. So it's time to paste the URL. Kasi dito natin ipupush yung file. So uh, right click and then paste. Ala, wait. <laughs> ano to? Sorry. Sa pa. Push. Ah, nakalimutan natin yung branch. Sorry, sorry. Git push, URL, and then type master. So, dapat pala malaman din ni Git yung which branch yung ipupush natin. Sorry, sorry. Ayan, so you enter. There you go. Yan. So, uh, usually, if I think first time nyo may magpa-pop up, you just have to parang may button dyan na sign in with the browser. Pero, ayun. Um... Sign in na kayo with the browser. Pero pag successful yung pag-push nyo, ito yung lalabas. So, no need to um, understand this kasi ako, <laughs> hindi ko gets yan. Pero uh, remember pala ha, if you're pasting sa git bash, you use ano, the right click, wag yung control V kasi I think hindi siya gagana. Ayan. So, if you're, uh, ayan, do, so if may na-receive kayong pop-up message, sign in with your browser. So, nakapag-push ba lahat, guys? Or if may error message, please tell me. So, itong paragraph, no, it's basically saying that everything is done. We have a new branch called master, which is yung master branch naman sa remote repository. Ayan. So, may master na rin tayo dito. Ayan. See? It's here. 
Ayan. So, if pumitot kayo dito at nakita nyo to, please press 1. Nice one. Ayan, so nasa ano na kayo? Nasa remote repository na kayo. Nice, nice. Ayan. So, since nandito na sa GitHub, ayan. <laughs> ano, uh, let's say we have changed. Ayan, uh, teka lang. Ayan, so ito actually yung pinaka-basic way kung paano. Ayan, nasa GitHub na tayo. Nandito na yung ano niya. Nandito na yung code niya. Pwede na mag-clone, pwede na mag-fork. So yeah, we're basically done with GitHub. But this time, moment to show you na uh, paano naman kung may changes ka sa code? Paano mo siya ipupush ulit? So, let's do another change sa ating code. Ayan. This time, very, very simple change na lang. I want you guys to end your code with a name. So, calculator by, and then enter your name. Ayan. Tapos, dash dash end L. Para new line. And then, dahil maarte ako, gusto ko kita ko lahat. Ayan, para kita ko yung talaga itsura. So, lagay nyo lang yan. So, ilagay nyo lang yung name nyo, calculator by your name. And then, gusto ko rin na i-remove na natin yung file 2. Kasi, di natin kaya yun. Ay, di natin siya kailangan. So, rm file2.txt. Again, ang ginawa ko, before, you know, pushing this um, um, files sa ating remote repository, gusto ko lang mapakita sa inyo kung paano naman na may binago ka sa code mo and gusto mo let it push. So, ang pako sa code natin is, we added our name and then, i-remove na natin tong file to kasi di na natin kailangan. There. After that, you save it. No need to run kasi alam naman natin na, actually, sige, run natin. Na make sure lang. Okay, there. Let's show, no, wait lang. Add lang ako ng another NL para mas Maayos tignan. May nag-press one. Okay, nice. Okay, so assuming na ready na kayo. Ayan, nice. Teka lang. So, ayan. So, save ko to, no? And then, let's add everything ulit. Git add dot and then git commit slash m and then you say added my name and deleted file to there. So, commit na natin yan. Tapos, pag natin yung git log. Nine. Is, nandito na tayo. So, again, no, nag-add lang ako ng buong files. Ay, in-add ko lang ulit lahat sa teaching area. Nag-commit ako, which nag-add ako ng name sa ating code. And nag-delete ako ng file to. And then, nag-git log ako just to make sure. Ayan. Now, let's push it, no? To the same remote repository. Babaguhin natin to. So, kasi, ngayon, nakita nyo dito, wala pa yung see out my name. Wala pa yung see out name. So, babagoy natin yan. So, to do that, clear muna natin to. And then, to do, at, uh, to do that, just, ano, lagay nyo lang ulit. Git push, dash, walang muna mag-enter ha. Git push, and then URL, paste it, and then master. Ayan. So, as you can see, uh, medyo mahaba yung process, no? Pag magka-copy ka ng URL every time. Um, may actually, pwede tayo gumawa ng shortcut dyan. So, you can actually create an alias. So, alias yung tawag dito sa ating terminal. Para shortcut na lang. So, let's do that. So, wala mo nang, ano ha, wala mo nang mag-click na enter. Uh, pinakita ko lang kung, uh, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng, um, shortcut for this. So, what we wanna do is, we, uh, we type git remote add origin. And then paste the URL. Ayan, so. Ah, uh, wait, teka lang. Mali pala ako. Sorry, sorry. Ay, tama lang, pero yung URL niya nakalimutan ko. <laughs> wait lang, wait lang. Again, so git, uh, git remote, add origin, and then you, sorry, sorry, you paste it. There. Yan. So, dapat ito yung lalabas. So, Click enter. So, instead of typing the whole URL out, you can just type git push origin master. Yan. So, nakasunod ba guys? Nakagawa ba ng... Alright. Okay, nice. So, when we... Um, when we... When we... When we press enter... 
lalabas ulit yung same, ayan, indicating na nakapag-push na tayo ulit. So, when we refresh this and we check our files, it's here. Ayan. It's here na. Ayan. Tapos, makikipapansin nyo, there's also some changes in the description. Ayan. You can also check out the commits done by clicking the icon. So, di ba, makikita nyo. Ayan. Makikita natin lahat ng uh, commit natin. So, imagine mo, ako si Prof, tapos nakita ko yung asterisk feature, tapos nakita ko yung source na ano, stock overflow, di ba? So, ayan. Makikita natin yung mga commits. Uh, dito rin yung identification. Ayan. So, di ba, mas ayos, no? Na nandito lahat sa GitHub. And yun, tada, that's how you make a hindi lang um ang alam ko pwedeng hindi. Ang alam ko pwedeng hindi. Kasi pero origin mismo yung inano ko kasi yung parang OG yung ano original ganun. Pero I think pwede namang hindi origin yung ano yung alias. But I'm just not sure if same process. All right, thank you. Ayan, that's, a, that's how you make a repository in GitHub. Now you can work on projects without duplicating and renaming a lot of files. So, ayan, dana tayo sa Git, dana tayo sa GitHub. Um, gusto ko lang na mag-recap tayo, no? Na mga natutunan natin Git and GitHub commands. So, ayan, naka, okay ba lahat, guys? Nandito na ba lahat? Nakapag-update ba kayo ng iyong GitHub repository? Please press 1 while I prepare for the, ano. Uh, there. Oops. Wait lang. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait lang. Wait. There. Tapos, punta tayo here. Ayan, nice one, guys. Nakapag ano kayo. Let's go back to the presentation because I want to teach you guys more Git and GitHub commands. So, yun, yun actually yung ating workshop for today. Yun yung Git and GitHub. But, yeah, let's do a recap. So, I'm going to give you guys a recap of the commands. There are so many Git commands out there, but here's what we learned today. In this recap, I also showed, ano, diba? Nagpakita din ako na different ways on how to use these commands. Ayan, so. Number one is git config. We configure the username and address. Another one is git init. We initialize a local git repository. Again, ha, local pa lang yun. Sa folder pa lang natin yun, sa directory pa lang. Next command that I taught you guys is git add. So add one or more files to the staging area. Another one is git status. To check the status of staged and unstaged files. And with all the symbols, may git status dash, e, uh, dash s, ganyan, ganyan. So different ways, diba, on how to use these commands. Next is git commit. So commit changes to the local repository. Next is git diff. View the difference made to the file uh, between yung uh, made to the file to the current. Ano, so din differentiate natin. Next is git checkout. You view a commit. Next is git log. You view the commits you made. And lastly, git restore. Uh, we restore to an earlier commit. So if you guys want to screenshot this, go ahead. Lang. Pero nasa internet lang naman din yan. <laughs> nasa internet lang siya. So one again, no, one of the greatest things about Git, it, it has a lot of commands and ways and ways to use those commands. So meaning there's always a solution that fits your needs. Like when you pag git add this specific file extension lang, pwedeng pwede. Anon. So move on tayo sa okay na ba na screenshot na ba to or clear ba? Ayan. So I'm I'm assuming na screenshot niya na guys. Next, let's move on to the GitHub commands. So, ang naturo ko lang sa inyo yung git push, no? Pero malaya pang GitHub commands. So, git push is push local changes to the remote repository. And then, git pull. So, yung pull naman from the remote repository naman to the local repository. So, kabalik na siya, kabalik na siya ng git push. Tapos, na-update agad yung local repository mo. So, kung ano yung nasa remote repository, pag pinul mo siya, nasa local repository mo, tas parang ma-overwrite, gano'n, ma-update. So, kung ayaw nyo naman ma-overwrite, there's also git fetch. So, it's just like pull, but it won't update the local repository. Ayan. So, ayan. So, again, git push, local to remote, git pull, remote to local, but yeah, update. Pero git fetch, um, remote to local, but it won't alter the state of the local repository. So, there are a lot of, I don't know, there are a lot of more commands for GitHub. But Janelle will cover it for later. So, ayan yung mga usual GitHub commands na, ano naman, na, <clears throat> sorry, na ginagawa natin. So, 
I saw a picture that will describe the whole setup. Si diba? Uh, I-explain ko to. Yung paano ba nag-work yung GitHub. So, of course, you'll have a work computer once you're working in a tech company. Ta syempre, bawal mo naman isend lang yung files mo sa Google Drive or sa lilo mong Messenger or Discord. Nako, suki din ako sa ganyan. Yung ginagawa kong file explorer din yung mga Messenger and Discord. So, how does Git and GitHub help in ano besides in collaborating with other developer? So, this time, di ba nakita yung pictures kanina yung ano? Wait lang, pakita ko. Di ba kanina may pictures na ganto? Ito yung parang advantages ng Git and GitHub with different users. This time, pakita ko sa inyo yung advantages as one, as your personal, ano, as your personal body, you know. So, di ba, you make a commit in your, ano, from the local, po, uh, sorry, you make a commit in your, uh, in your work computer, and then you push the commit to GitHub. So, yung commit mo na to, may local repository ka, di ba, sa work computer mo. So, eh, parang may snapshot, ganun. So, pag nag-commit ka, Mag-commit ka sa GitHub from your work computer. And then number three, when you, once you get home from work at gusto mo na ulit mag-work sa work, com, uh, work from home ka na, you pull it down, git pull, to home computer. And then you add another commit to your home computer. Tapos kunyan eh, for tomorrow, gusto mo siya ma, uh, ma-work ka naman sa inyong company, you make a new commit and you push it to GitHub. So, ganun yung parang cycle niya. Nag-gets ba guys? The cycle goes on. So, as you can see, no, Git and GitHub is ano, proof that Microsoft is indeed providing us with amazing and, and powerful technologies that we can use in our day-to-day -day life. So, na gets ba yung sistema ng Git and GitHub? You make a commit, you push, and then you pull, you make another commit, and then you push again, and then it goes on. So, please press 1 if na gets itong sistema. All right, nice one. Nice, nice, nice. So I'll be showing more technologies uh, ng Microsoft, like Azure, Microsoft 365, but syempre sa next event ko na. Ayan, so thank you guys so much. That's all. Thank you so much for coming to my first ever work uh, workshop. Ito din yung first time na maging speaker ako mismo kasi ako lang lagi yung host. Ah, get commands. All right, sige, sige. All right, there you, get commands, no? There. I'll give you guys a few. Pero yun nga, nasa ano lang siya. Ang daming cheat sheet sa, ano, sa internet about Git and GitHub comments. Ayan, so I'm gonna go back <laughs> dun sa aking outro slide. Alright, thank you. So yun nga, sabi ko kanina, ito yung first time ko na maging speaker. And ako, uh, dati kasi, or right now, ako lagi yung host. So it means a lot na you guys came. Talagang hindi ko to makakalimutan. Ilan ma tayo right now? We are... 76. Nice. Very, may, ano, very, um, it means a lot na ang daming pumunta ngayon. And I hope you guys learned a lot this morning. Uh, wait lang. Nawala yung chat ko. Oh, no. Wait. Ayun. Alright. Sorry, sorry. Ayan. <laughs> Panic mode ako dun kasi gusto ko yung lagi nakikita. Ayan. Uh, ayan. So, it means a lot nga na dumating kayo. Um, this morning, eh, sana marami kayo natutunan. Uh, Unang-una, gusto ko pasalamat sa ACM chapter ng FU Alabang. To all the officers, thank you so much for giving me a platform to conduct my Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador event. It was so easy collaborating and partnering with you guys. Nakakataba ng puso na sinuportahan niyo ako dito. Actually, ang original event is a GitHub event na advanced. So, dapat ang original plan dito, ang gusto talaga ni Ma'am Resti, yung advanced lang, yung for advanced, yung si Jonal na magtuturo. Uh, matagal na kasi itong planado ni Ma'am Resty. Pero sabi ko kay Ma'am Resty, sabi ko, Ma'am Resty, gusto kayo magturo ng beginner's class. Tapos, kinunta ko sa kanya yung MLSA. And yun, she was so excited din and really proud of me. So, for Ma'am Resty din to, Ma'am Resty, we miss you so, so much. At syempre, kayo rin, thank you so, so much for attending. Kabado ako sobra. But seeing how interactive you guys are, parang nakikipagdadala lang ako. So, thank you, thank you so much. If you guys want a recording of this, i-upload ko naman sa YouTube ko. At syempre, if you want more, nasa YouTube.